Welcome everybody, this is Christian and I'm going to be playing with Travis. I'm once again going to be playing the Rebels and Travis is going to be the Rebels, or the Imperials. And we are doing an advanced setup. And this is where the Rebel base is. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully Travis doesn't see where that is, but that's where it is, so it's going right here. Hopefully Travis will never find out where it is. And we start the game. So college closet prank. <laughs> Search it. YouTube. No, edit that out. <laughs> so uh, we start with our four basic missions, and then you draw the top two from that deck. So now we have six in our hand. And now I determine how many missions I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm going to do three missions and leave uh, one guy in uh, reserve. Alright then. Dudes here, right? Oh uh, no! Um, you just you put them on their cards, Un like unless you're gonna do no missions. No, I was gonna have them move the units. Oh well, so this says this thing about the number of people. But are you gonna do any missions? Because you could, like, you don't need to. But I can put them on a mission and decide oh, 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 not oh, to. Right. Okay. But you know, um, you like you may want to like. Well, your missions do interesting things, so it's like... But I guess it will allow you to claim as much territory as possible, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's actually not that bad of a strategy gonna, for I you. I think I'm going to just, you know, move guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so I'm going to do three missions, and I have one in reserve. So I'm going to go ahead and... But your guy in reserve is pretty much useless now because I'm not doing anything, right? Well, I could also move units as well. Okay. So my first mission, I'm going to send Mon Mothma to support other Mon Kamari. Attempt in the Mon Kamari system. If successful, either gain two loyalty in the system, but it's already loyal to me. Or place one Mar Mon Kamari cruiser in the build queue. So you can either try to stop me... Or, That's uh, it. yeah. So I would roll with three political dice. So you can either try to block me, or for me, I would just put a cruiser in uh, the build three slot. So you do it with three political dice. So if I wanted to try and block you, I should probably use the emperor. Right? Yeah. All right, I'll give it a shot. Okay. So. I will roll three dice, and you can go ahead and roll three dice. So that is two successes. You got one, so it is successful for me. And I put a Mon Karma Cruiser on slot three. So now you do one of your missions. Mm, which I don't have any. Oh, well, or you do one of your actions. Ah. Okay, so I can move some. You can move some guys. Cool. Uh, well, let's, uh, I guess I'll use this dude. And, yeah, well, I'll go here first. So 
So I just put him here, and, yeah, and, and then, then I can, can draw. Yeah, you can pull as many units as you want. check the number. Can I pull as many as I want, or do I have or to? Or up to... You can, so that the Star Destroyer can pull six health worth of units. Okay. But there's no one there, so if you land one guy on the plate, it becomes subjugated. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to move this guy with... Three, Says four. four, yeah. So you get two, two more. Five, six. Okay. And so I have to inform you the rebel base is not on Kashyyyk. Well, I'm not quite done yet. So this guy's one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I, yeah. Right. Cool. So. Um, you put a subjugation marker on top of my loyalty marker in this poor Wookiees. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and do one of my missions. I'll go ahead and do infiltration right here. Attempt in any system that contains an Imperial unit. If successful, I'll get to look at the top of these two uh, cards. Put we keep one at the top and then one at the bottom. So, this allows me to... And what are those over there? Th these are like the Death Star plans. Uh, if I have four populated systems with rebel units, it, these are the things that help me move the marker down. So this allows me to draw two. I look at one. Oh, I was, I was supposed to draw one. Uh, so it would um, actually you're supposed to look at sorry you get your first two probes. Oh, okay. And do I get to draw one of those two? No, that only happens when you do one of your missions. So I get to hang on to these. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah. So if but if you block it, you won't be able to move from the system again. That's why I did it there to make you have to decide. Oh yeah. So well, you're just gonna let me. Do I'm it gonna there. let you do it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's that the whole reason. Okay. So gonna put that one on top. This one on the bottom. All right. Your turn. And that goes back into my hand. All right. Well, I'll move Tarkin over there. Yeah, I figured. And he's gonna this Death Star is gonna move with all these dudes right here. All right. So he can move with eight. So that's. Five right there. Six. And yeah, why not? So all right. So the rebel base is not on Mon Karmari. Good to know. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and have Rekin go to Utapau, and he's gonna draw two infantry in the Corvette, and they're gonna land there. You don't have to play your mission first. Well, like, like I I if I ever pass, then, but I can do a movement and still do a mission. I'm, I'm not passing, so, so I, I, can't, I did it. I action. can't block your movement, huh? You can't block movement, no. Oh, too bad. All right, well, so be it then. Okay. Um. So I. Oh yeah. So you're. You could either, like, pass or you could um do your last movement. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to hold out and block you, probably. Okay, so I am doing a build alliance attempt at any populated system. If there are rebel units there, roll an additional two dice. I'm going to go ahead and do that in Utapau. So I would roll two plus two, so I would roll four dice. Of the which variety? Of the like political. Battle. So I can only block it with two. Yes, that will be, but you win ties, so you have a chance, but Not that will be chance. one last movement. So, Utapal is now loyal to the Rebel Alliance, and now you can do their turn. Hmm. Yeah, that does seem unfortunate. Yeah, but you just conquered two of my planets, so, you know. <laughs> I got one more, you took two of mine away. Last half full. The I'm, Empire I'm is, is up. Plus, you're probably about to subjugate another planet. Hmm. Yeah, that does seem like a, a logical thing to do, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so I guess I will uh, go ahead and 
go here and draw. You're going to go to your ex wife's home planet? <laughs> yep, I guess so. And that becomes Imperial. Yep, Naboo is now under Imperial control. So that is the end of the first turn. We get all of our leaders back. Uh, this is your dude. I don't want him. He's <laughs> far inferior to Vader. Quite dirty in there. So you draw two probes. Okay. And two additional missions. Is your? I guess your base is not on the boot. My base is not in the boot. No, I am not stupid. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Gotta check. Gotta check. Yeah, that's true. And this time we draw two of our reinforcements. And so I. When do I draw these things? Oh, like um, there's like a research and development card or whatever. Oh, I have to do that. Yeah. Gotcha. And you can only have up to ten missions in your hand. In your hand. Do I draw two more of these? Yes. For the end of the turn. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And two of these, and then you choose which one you're gonna add on. And um. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Lando Calrissian. I don't think I've ever played with him, actually. So, question. Um, if I gain two loyalty in a system where you have units, that would basically... It would be loyal to you, but you wouldn't be able to build there. Wait. But I wouldn't be able to build there either. It would be loyal to you, but I would be occupying it. Okay. So I do two of these and I pick one, right? Yes. And you keep that card. Right. So, this one has two faces on it. Yeah, so you, you still choose one, but that means you can play that card with either one of those people. Oh. But, so between the three faces there, you choose one of them. Uh, okay, fair enough. And most of those leaders are, they're on two cards. But if you ever skip over someone twice, you're never going to get that person. Mm, one of my guys is missing. No, oh, he's over there. He's hiding out with the rebels. He was spying. Spy. Yeah, makes sense. Sure. Six and one half doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, so just put the other one in the discard. Discard. Yeah. Um. So this is actually also a build. So we go through our systems and we place units based off of our build queue. So it's going to take longer for you than me, but you go through each one of your systems. So like this is a starfighter and a assault carrier in slot two. Oh, okay. So I need... So Utapal is a capital ship and a Corvette in slot three. Okay, so Mustafar is the blue triangle. And if, actually, if it's subjugated, you only get the, um, the leftmost one. Oh. So you would just get the fighter. Right. That's an advantage of making a system loyal to you rather than just, uh, all right, so I just get a TIE Fighter from that one. And... you get a Trooper, and you'll get a Trooper... Actually, uh, this should, you this may subjugate it when you land the troops there. So you get a Trooper for each of these. There was no one there. Yeah, it's still... it's You're subjugating the system. It doesn't become loyal to you until you have... You do your political card. But there's no one there. So that one's two, and then this one, Naboo, is slot one. And those are both uh, stormtroopers. Yes. Then this one is loyal, so I get the. A capital ship. Star Destroyer. Yeah. How do I get the Super Star Destroyer? Um, it's an incentive for you to do your mission and uh, your project cards. Because uh, a Super Star Destroyer is bad news for me. Okay, so I got a Star Destroyer and a TIE Fighter there. That one I did. 
This one is subjugated, and I get a stormtrooper at one. That one is mine, and I get an ATST in one. And this one is mine, and I get a TIE fighter and ATAT. ATAT. Here, and that is in two. Okay. Did you do um, ESL? I haven't done Mon Calamari yet. So it's just a TIE fighter, since it's not loyal to you. And three. Not yet. It's not. Yet. Not yet. All right. And the only way I can get loyalty is with the hero cards, right? Yeah, it's like rule by fear or whatever. I gotcha. It, it's your recurring one. So but you because I took that from you, I have to do it twice, right? Yeah. Hmm. Or you do the one where it gives you two loyalty. Yeah. Okay. So when do I draw the probe cards? Oh, um, you, you, you um, like at the, oh, at the, the beginning, beginning of, of each turn. I yeah. did do that, didn't I? Yeah. Aha. Alright, I'm going to do uh, three missions. So I'll go ahead and do, uh, do four. Okay, you got your missions? Um, Okay. Um, I'm gonna do sabotage on. Actually, I'll do it on uh, Mon Calamari. So if I succeed, then you can no longer build from this planet or deploy units on that planet. And I would be rolling just one dice. But I can take away the sabotage at some point, right? Yeah. And you only roll one dice for I that? only roll it one dice. But if you put a guy there, you you won't be able to leave uh, that system this turn. Hmm. That is inconvenient. Hence why I'm doing it there. <laughs> um, okay, I'll let you go. Okay. And I can remove the sabotage at some point, right? Yeah. How do I do that? Um, I believe it's research and development. Okay. Which you may even have that card right now, so. Well, you mentioned it. Yes, <laughs> I do. Yes. Um, remove a sabotage marker from this system and draw one project card. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to. All right. Pop that off. So that kind of just. So you. You just grab one of these cards now. And that goes into your hand. Now remember, you can only have a maximum of 10 cards in your hand. It goes into your regular hand. Yeah. Oh, this goes into my regular hand? Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Hopefully it's not a superstar starter. Um. Hmm. Okay. Alright. 
Um, I am gonna have uh, Dodama try to win over the Geonosians and build alliance. And uh, once again, since I have troops there, I will add two to his political power. So I would roll three dice. Uh, and what does that do for you? It, it just makes it loyal. So you get to go straight to loyal and I have to subjugate everybody. No, no, you get subjugated just for having a troop there. Hmm. I have, actually I cheated. They're not loyal, they're not loyal to me. I just had troopers there, so I shouldn't have built from there. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Yep. No, I am. <laughs> um, okay. So you can either try to block it, I'll roll three dice. It's political. Uh, and political is the yellow one, right? Yes. Eh, I'll let it happen. <laughs> Who cares about some Geonosians anyway? Alright, your turn. Um, okay. Rule by fear. Who was I going to do this on? I forget. I believe it has to be a where you have an imperial unit. It does indeed have to be one where I have an imperial unit. Yeah, that's true. Um, Mustafar. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and try to block that. I only roll one, but you only roll one political as well. Okay. Lando only has a. So I'm just grabbing your black die. I got one. You got one, so it's blocked. Since whoever's trying to block it wins ties. No, he stays there. All uh, right, my turn. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> um, I'll try to do a infiltration on Kashyyyk, and it's the same thing. It allows me to draw two and then put one at the top and one at the bottom. It's spy power. She rolls with two. Um, so you can either counter it or just let it happen. Um, <laughs> I suppose I'll let it happen. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's not like the best card, but the main thing is I just uh, want to... Oh, that's right. It goes at the top. Once again, I'm cheating. It goes at the bottom. Constantly. Constantly. Alright, your turn. Well, what is the Emperor up to? Uh, it's also gaining two loyalty in the system. And where was I going to do Is that? it any populated system? Or like where the... Any popular are? system. Yeah, that's... That's pretty nasty. So I'm going to So yeah, you could do it in one of the, like any of the systems that you have subjugated, it would get rid of the my underlying But I could loyalty. do it here, right? You could do it there and I would be upset. But since I have units there, I would have a strong advantage just to be able to retake it because I get two extra dice if there are rebel troops on the planet. And this is not a build turn. So it wouldn't be that would actually well, be a really these, good card. These if you guys did it. get dropped on the network. Yeah, but I'm not going to drop anything there because they're slot three. Oh. But I mean, but if you did it on Monica, like, well, th there's no bad place to do that card. Like, that's a pretty powerful thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to regret it wherever it does happen. Um, that's a good point. Maybe I should look at Mon Calamari. But Utapau is nice too. Mm. Didn't think about having to retake it. Mm. Well, you would still need to put troops there, but I would have to retake it, so it would prevent me from doing. Well, would I have to put troops place. this turn though? No, it, it would be your planet. I would just have it. I would just have it um occupied, so you wouldn't be able to build there. But it would be your planet. Okay until I make it loyal again, but it would actually take me two turns because one would make it neutral and the other one would make it loyal to me again. So, wherever you do it, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fair.
is really another good course. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any build guys for a course on. Um, yeah, so one on that boo and one on Kashyyyk. Yeah, so you, sh you should have another w one Stormtrooper on course hunt. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with Utapau okay. for right now. So go ahead and put your guy there. I can't block it. That's kind of the idea. And it goes straight to being loyal. The rebel base is not on that planet. I would have to tell you, um, since it became loyal to you. And then this one gets discarded. Yeah, it gets discarded. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to incite rebellion. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. So, if I attempt, uh, attempted a subjugate system is successful, three rebel troopers dis, uh, appear. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on... I'm actually going to do that... Well, I have the best chance of success on uh, Solus, but taking long term Mario from you would be nice too. Since it's so figured Yeah, I'll actually go ahead and do that on Mon Karmari. So I would roll with three dice. Can I see the card? Yeah. Those damn locals. All that really enslavement really, really didn't like uh, well, kind of a bitter okay. I'm obviously gonna try and block you. Yeah. Well, makes sense. So I roll with three dice, and you roll with two, but you win ties. Yes. Oh, Ugh. four. So you would have to roll perfectly, but go ahead and try. You rolled almost perfectly. So three guys just show up, and we're going to duke it out. We're gonna have our first combat of the game. But I get to do I get to use Darth Vader? Yeah, you get to use Darth Vader, so you get three ground combat cards. And since Reekin was already in the system, I'm actually gonna make him commander to ground troops, so I get two combat cards. So Do I get to use the other dude who's there too? Since you're no. using your other dude? You, you have one uh, one commander is put in charge of any battle. So I get to use all three of these cards? Yeah, uh, like depending on like like, it, it, if it has that symbol, you can only play it if you get that symbol. Yeah. Okay. So, I will go ahead and... So, these are troopers, so they roll black dice. Okay. So, I did two damage. Okay. And I will go ahead and play this card that I get to do two damage to one guy. And then the other two damage to this guy. So, they're both double dead. Okay, well, that is... So, you, so you go ahead and roll two dice. Hmm. So you, if you have cards that can block damage, you can go ahead and try to do that now, or you can go ahead and roll. Well, if they're both double dead, blocking one damage doesn't... But, but like those cards back. go back, so... But go ahead and roll and see what happens, because if you get this symbol, you can draw additional cards. Yeah. So maybe you'll be able to block two damage. Should I, I use the block card now? Or no, you can just roll. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Those stormtroopers are living up to their reputation of their aim. <laughs> uh, haha. -ha. So what does that do? Oh, re-roll two of your dice. All right, so there you go. Let's try this again, guys. <laughs> Vader's like, you guys sucked. <laughs> you tried that again. Alright, so you do one damage. So you're gonna kill one of my guys. I can't block that. So, um, do you have any other cards to play? or? Uh, I do, actually. So I'm going to discard one ground tactic card and block, which I'm gonna discard this one, and block two damage from one of my Ah, troopers. okay. So one of them's still alive. So one of them is dead. One of my guys is dead. And um, yeah, so we don't draw additional cards. They are they are used. Uh, so we put these in a discard. Or? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to reshuffle them. So just put them in a separate slot. So this time I only roll two. So I get one. Yeah, wild. So it's uh the guy's dead. So you go ahead and roll um, oh, two. Is. Oh yeah, you're one. Yeah, I've got just one dude left. Vader's like, you better do a good job. And he does it. Alright. 
That's a rough roll. Mon Mari has been liberated. There's no ground troops anymore. So they are free. But you still have the Death Star in orbit. And if you if you were particularly me, you'd be like, Alright, I'm gonna blow you up. <laughs> but it's uh my system. Alright. Um I'm done. So um you have one of your guys left, so you can still do a movement. Or do your special uh secret assignment power, whatever uh, you choose. Oh right, yeah, I forgot about those things. Um yeah. I think I'm going to move some dudes. Which yeah, I'm gonna take this guy, and I am. What am I gonna do? So you can move these units, these units, these units, or those units, or this unit. The next turn's not a build one, right? No. So I actually have two turns to yeah. get my guys in position. Mm hmm And you did a good job with uh, Utapau. Like, that's... That I'm going to have to win that back. That kind of dicked you over a little that bit. That did dicked me over. But I kind of returned a favor by doing the same thing to Mon Carvajal. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna say screw it. We're moving in. Okay. And I can't actually bring my ground guy because I don't want to leave Naboo completely high and dry. So you're just gonna do space combat? Just space combat. Okay. I don't have a leader there, so it's just my uh, cruiser. So I get one red. I do have a leader, however. Yes. So you draw three space cards. So there's a really good chance that Corvette is going to be dead. Which seems like a good idea. Yes. So Star Destroyers get two red and a black. And your TIE Fighters get a black each. So you definitely have a layup. What do I have to do to kill you? Um, just do two health damage. And I completely shot blanks. I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess it was, it, was, uh, it was my turn, so go ahead and... Uh, if, if I don't use these, these just go back. Right? Yeah, so uh, you just like... <laughs> overkill them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what we get anyways. Yeah, so it's dead. I don't even have to do anything? No. And I don't have anything to block it. I don't have any commander, so the Corvette is destroyed. <sighs> well, so be it. I mean, you did, like, you, you won. You won the space battle quite definitively. So do we shuffle these things back in? You can just like, like you. Oh, you, once yeah. we finish it, right? We back. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, that is the end of this turn. So you place, you build those guys. Oh, I can put them wherever I want. Well, wherever like a planet that can build them. So you can't put like this guy here because this can only build a uh, No, but I can fighters. put one here and I can put one yes. here. Yeah. And can I I can I can't put guys there because I haven't built anything yet. That and uh, I ha it's occupied. It's you, occupied right. temporarily. Hopefully not temporarily. <laughs> um so the AT AT guy goes on the Circle. Circle, yeah, so uh, this planet. And then this other guy goes on. Man, I do not have that many planets to build right now. Did I already put my guy on Kashyyyk? No, I put it on Naboo. Yeah, because you just recently took. I just um, recently took Kashyyyk. Yeah, so I'll put it over there, I guess. Trader back. Alright, so um, we draw an additional two of these cards. Yep. Do I get probe cards? Yeah, you get two probe cards. I'm going to bring in Son of Skywalker, 
you know, just some just some kid on some dirtbag planet. I'm sure he's not going to be important at all. Probably not. Oh, um, I'm going to play Defend the People. Start. Uh, play if at least four systems have a rebel unit. Ryloth, Geonosis, Utapel, and Mon Calamari all have a rebel unit. So I get one victory point. And we're on turn three now. Oh, and you draw two more mission cards. Okay. But remember, you can only yeah, yeah, have yeah, a total. Back, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> which one of these guys do I want? Uh, Alright, so I'm, um, I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll leave two guys in reserve. So I'm going to do these three missions and one of them I'm going to send two people. Three missions? I'm doing three missions. Oh, which leader did you add? Oh, Boba Fett. That's a good one. Mm hmm. That's definitely a good one. Wait, you have two leaders on one? Mission? Yeah, remember you can you can have two leaders go on one mission, their powers get added together. Ah, that's helpful. Yeah. So like if it's a lot of political power or a lot of like uh, stealth, then you would uh, send two people. I got you. That makes sense. But you can only send up to two people.
Okay, so uh, the rebels always go first. So I will. I'll go ahead and do a uh, build alliance here on Utapau. So it would just make it neutral. So she's a power of two. I would get to roll an extra two since there's rebel units there. So I would roll four dice. So I got two, so that's entirely possible for you to beat, which you didn't. So it just goes to neutral. My rolling has not been good. Uh, I mean, I've, I've had some hits and misses. So it's your turn. I'll silver that with an additional beer. So that's actually an old ox beer. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to gather intel. I think it's like any rebel system or something. Correct. Right. So what does it do? You get a yeah, so I guess I'll just do Geonosis. I get uh, one probe card for every four units in the rebel base. Is it a rebel system or where there's a rebel unit? It says in any rebel system. It's not a rebel system. Why not? Because it is not loyal to me. It's just, there's just rebel units uh, there. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Um, you know what, I'll go ahead and block. He, uh, so I have two and you have three, but you know, your rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got two. It's blocked. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good old loaded dice. Gets them every time. <laughs> All right, uh, my turn. I'll go ahead and do a infiltration, or you know what? I will do something that you're gonna dislike. I'm gonna do a public uprising. Attempt in any subjugated system. If successful, gain one air speeder and two troopers. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on Solist. So it'll be a f total four political power. Okay. Go ahead, make your dudes. Okay. So air speeder and a guy just suddenly arrive on Solus and they're like, whoa, what's going on? And I have get two ground combat cards. Are you gonna bring in Tarkin or are you just gonna not not have any uh, cards? Nope. Alright, so I get gonna let it ride. One red, one black for the air speeder, and two black from the troops. Then you get two black for your troops. Alright. Um, so it does one damage. And I'm going to go ahead and draw an additional card with this one. And I will go ahead and do it that you can't block any damage this round. So. Okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Whatever. So, you do one damage. Actually, this is like. You do one damage to me, and I do one damage to you. 
What does this one mean? Or what does this one mean? Uh, so that means you, can, you get to draw a card. Yeah. Which... So I can play this card? Yeah. So then I'll play that card. Uh, no, you use this in order to get that. Alright. So you'll have it for next time. So I'm going to go ahead and block one damage. So you lose one guy and I lose nobody. And then uh, we start that over again. Okay. Oh, three red, three black, two, and one red. I don't think my stormtrooper has a prayer. No. All right. All right. He's double dead. I'll go ahead and draw it. All right. So didn't even take anyone with him. Nope. And that system is no longer subjugated. All right. That was unfortunate. Makes you feel better. I'm going like my full because I've been embarrassed by you too many times. So <laughs> I need the I need to win one, especially one at a game that I enjoy so much. I am undefeated playing you against your own games. I know that Armada defeat will Game of Thrones, will, yeah. Armada a couple times. Well, Game of game Thrones, Thrones is a, a of it, is more up in the air because you're one of six people. This is just you versus me. You can't have your wife back you up, even though she usually sides with me. She does <laughs> usually side with you. Which is uh, unfortunate, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, so it's your mission. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do research and development. Okay. So any Imperial system, you have to choose this. Oh, I have to put them somewhere, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, you could do a course on it. Yeah. Because you're never going to move a unit from Coruscant. It, it, it just because it, it messes up with your deployment. So I believe that you draw two and you pick one when there's no sabotage. Correct. <laughs> that would be funny if you're just like super laser Von Gumbari. <laughs> There's a lot of duplicates in that deck, so it's not like you're... And it doesn't get discarded. I think it gets put at the bottom. No, these, these guys get discarded, right? No, what, what does it say? Well, I mean, like, like when you use it, it gets discarded, but I think you keep one and the other one, I oh, think, goes yeah, at yeah. the bottom of the deck. Yeah, no, I choose one and place the other at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, yeah right. so it's entirely possible... And there's duplicates, so you're not like, oh, I want both of these. You're probably going to end up with both of them. Especially if you keep on doing that mission over and over again. Alright, I'll keep this one and put this one on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have Luke do a infiltration on uh, Kashyyyk. So same old, same old. I get the top. I get the look at the top two cards. Pick one. I will get two of the Infiltration power. I will let you have that. Okay. I will put that one in. And I'm going to play Son of Skywalker special. If you succeed in a mission, 
I get to seek the deck for either Seek Yoda or Daring Rescue and then put it in my hand from here. I'm not going to tell you which one I did. Just add it to my hand and then I reshuffle. Ah. Your turn. Okay. I am going to do trade negotiations. And I have to pick a populist system of my choice. Okay. And I gain one loyalty if I do. So, what's different about that compared to the rule of fear? Rule of fear, you have to do it in a system where you have units. Right. That one you can choose any populated system. Right. So I can do it pretty much anywhere. It benefits me. Yes. Oh, and if you choose a planet where I already have a leader, they would actually act they would actually roll in defense. Just so just so that you're aware of that. Okay, that's Good to, know. Good to know. So you wouldn't want to do it here because I would actually be able to roll four in, def four in defense because they're both happen to be. I kind of hate to do it, but I might have to do it on Lucifer. Mm, just so I can, no, I can't even get a capital ship. No, Lucifer. that's a it's an assault carrier. Yeah. And Utapal is currently no man's land. Yep. So, I mean, there's a lot of populated systems, and in you could also see it as this is um, you could also see it as a attempt to figure out well, where where you are right located. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did not uh, did not miss that. Uh, Cause maybe uh, maybe I wanted to do the Kessel Run or something like that. Now, Hud, you're gonna try to get those lousy huts. To uh, be loyal to you? I suppose I am. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Can I even take that, though? Because I can't subjugate it without a dude there. No, no, become, you get gain one loyalty, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can do it. Oh. Um, so it becomes just an imperial territory? Yeah, unless I try to block it. I would only roll one dice, you would roll two. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll try to block it. Okay. So I roll one dice, you roll two dice. Alright. You got one. Oh, oh my come god. On. You gotta be freaking <laughs> kidding me. That's pretty bad luck. That's pretty terrible luck. Um, but it was blocked. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. So much. Especially since that's a discard one, you you like you don't get that mission back. <coughs> Lendo Calvision. <laughs> All right, um, I'm not a leader, so um, you can um, you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Actually, <laughs> you won't be though. Yeah, I suspect I know what you're gonna do. Want to guess? Well, Bubba Fett only does one thing. He does capture leader. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, so collect bounty. Uh, attempt oh, against shit. a rebel, rebel leader that is in any system. Damn. If successful, capture that leader, and I will be successful. <laughs> uh, then move both the leader and this leader to the closest system that contains an imperial unit. Oh, so that's even like the better version than a regular capture. Gosh, so who should I take? Should I take Leia? Should I take Mon Mothra? Hmm. Dang. Is that gum Luke Skywalker out? Oh, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Might be good to get him off the board. No, you don't want to do that. Can I convert him? Is that something I can do? There is a card that allows, there's one card that allows you to lure someone to the dark side. Hmm. Right now, Leia is... Because Warren made Leia turn to the dark side turn two, and I was very upset by that. Yeah, they're all 
pretty good. Yeah, and at most I'm only going to roll one red in defense, and you get three, and you get a guaranteed hit. So no matter who you choose, you're going to get that person. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, in a certain way, you kind of want to just, like, count up the number of, like, like, how powerful is each person, essentially. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I mean, I think right now Leia is the most powerful, but uh, Luke has the most potential. Yeah. For mischief. And Mom Mothma is also very powerful, so she's my political powerhouse. Right. She's the only one with three political power, only second to the, oh, tied with the Emperor. It's her mm -hmm. Emperor. Yeah. I don't know which one to pick then. I'll just have to capture them all at some point. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't like hold back because you were going to be able to. You can play that anywhere rather than just being where there's an imperial unit. So do you do your damage. My Mothma, huh? Alright, so I actually get to roll one dice in defense since Knock she was with Regan. Alright, so it doesn't match your, the double that you're guaranteed, so you get her. Okay, and so I have to take it to the closest Imperial system. Yep. And she gets this thing put on her. And therefore... Alright, um... Oh, so you still have Tarkin. You get to do an extra mission. Yes. Um, can I? I can't pick another mission at this point, right? No, definitely not. Okay. Okay. But there's still some fleets that you can move around. Yeah, 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 definitely. So I assume you're not on no now. I well, you well, didn't. I don't know. You don't know. I yeah. don't know, do I? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I gave them some of those like slug thing, those frog things that they like to eat, and they they're quiet. They're not going to sell me out. Mm. Good to know. But yeah, so uh, go ahead and do your movement. Yeah, I think I got to uh, give it a shot. Do. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're actually landing troops, huh? So actually, this can only hold a uh, four, so you have to at least leave that guy behind. All right, fair enough. You get one ground combat card, and I'm pri probably going to die since you get two black and two I've, red. I've been rolling pretty. Terrible. That's true. You have been rolling very terrible. All right. Um, I get one wild, so I'll do one damage to uh, the ATST. Okay. And you um, killed them. You killed both my guys because this is a wild and that is an infiltrate only kill. So you won. Okay. And the planet is now subjugated. So you finally rolled well. Huh. Too little, too late. Okay. Um, so that's the end of that turn. We get our leaders back, except for Mon Mothma, yep. which I'm going to very much regret. Um, and our build queues go down one. So I don't have anything to build. Oh, actually, scratch that. First, we uh, this is a build thing. Oh, so, so we have to fill up the queue first. Right. Which you now get to put another fighter for uh, Mon Karmari. And I don't get to do it for Utapau because you're a meanie head. Um, That's the technical term for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty familiar with that technical term. Man, I do not have that many planets anymore. Do we, we don't, do we do heroes and probes at first or build first? Um, I, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Okay. Because you're not technically building, you're putting them in their queue. Right. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Do you want to go first since you only have... I, I, I already finished. Like, I only no. have these two planets in the rebel base, so I build 
pretty much jack squat. Alright, so let's start, just go right to left here. Mustafar, I get the TIE Fighter in two. And this one I don't get. Oh, Naboo, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was missing a hero. You know, he was a little sympathetic towards the Rebel Alliance for a little bit. I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> Alright, so Naboo is Stormtrooper in one. Corellia is a capital ship. And a TIE Fighter in three. And Corsant is one dude. I didn't do. So Kashyyyk is subjugated, so it's one dude. In one. And Saukame is a ATSD in one. And Maidito is a TIE Fighter and an ATAT in two. And then Mon Calamari is a TIE Fighter in three. Oops, that's your three. My three's over here. I think that's all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna bring in Han Solo, and he's gonna ride in on the Millennium Falcon. So that's an option. Yeah, uh, like this is an immediate. So um, the Millennium Falcon. If I ever do a successful mission, I could choose to discard the Millennium Falcon, and I rescue a captured leader. So do I take two probes? You take two probes, yes. And you get two additional missions. If you're over 10, then I you have to... Yeah. yeah, got it. Um, so all the ones that were at, well, how were you able to get anything on, oh that's right, yeah, you had one before, you, so we actually move everything down, Okay. so you get to place the things that were in one. Okay, but I can only place it in systems that have that type. Right, right. and if uh, you can't for some reason, then they just go back into one. Okay, is there a limit to how many I can place, or can I just... You can only put like... Up to, you know, like one fighter and one capital ship there. So you uh, can't do like two. Oh, that's inconvenient. Yep. That's inconvenient for me because, like, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm down on planets pretty bad. Pretty bad. Alright, I'm going to do uh, four missions. And I'm going to leave Lando as backup. Hang on, hang on, I'm getting around. I guess I'll take this dude here. Because he looks cooler. Discard that. I got my probes, now I got to count because I probably have more than ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. 11, so I have to get rid of one of these. Mm. 
Oi. So you still get to place these units. So actually, yeah, you have to put this one in Magneto because you don't have Solus anymore. Right. Okay. Um, the ATST goes here, and uh, Tie Fighters you can put one here, one in Corellia, and on you know, Mon Calamari if you want. But you already have a lot of fighters there. And then, uh, yeah, your stormtroopers, you can put them on uh, one on Kashyyyk and one on uh, Coruscant. And that's actually it. Those are your only one. Oh, and one on Naboo, if you choose to. And then the rest is, ha they go back into to, um, one again if you can't place them. I don't think you can. It's okay. We'll come out next time. Well, if I don't have either one of these planets loyal to me, I'm not going to be able to put this Mon Calamari cruiser somewhere. Which I'm going to be very upset <laughs> because I want to build a Mon Calamari cruiser. So I'm doing four missions. And remember, you can only have one captured rebel leader at a time. Uh, I can't have more than one? You can have one captured and one in Carbonite or one turned to the dark side, but you can only have one... Captured, captured. I gotcha. All right. Well, let's see. Just so that you don't do a mindless mission, and then you're like, if I win, then you're like, oh, it's because of that. So this is turn four, and I've only done one victory objective so far. So I can't capture two, that's what you're telling me. Right. Now, you could put it in your hand, assuming that I'm going to rescue someone, and then you could try to capture someone immediately after. But for the most part, you can only have one capture at a time. Okay. I will be playing five. Okay. Let me just get them in the right order.
You good? I think so, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to seek Yoda, and it's just a resolve, so it just happens. And uh, Luke Skywalker becomes Jedi Knight, hmm. Luke Skywalker. He also gets a little Yoda backpack, and Maybe I should have captured whenever there's any mission in the system, I can uh, force, I can do a reroll. I can do one reroll. Oh, just one dice or all? One dice. dice. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I will do retrieve the plans. Ah, uh, shit. With Darth Vader. And On Mon Mothma. Okay. Because that is the captured leader that I have currently. Feel okay. Um. So you get an automatic success, and it's a military, and I'm just, like, she's just going to blab. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my objectives. I wish I had done this before you got your Luke. Well, I, that's like, okay. no, that's, that's a mission. Th these are objectives. Oh. This is how I bring this down. Ah. So now you know what I'm trying to do. One of which may be already too late for you to stop. Is that right? <laughs> Especially with how you just deployed that person there. But now you know for sure I don't have the Death Star plans. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna have to start killing people. <laughs> Especially since you retook Mon Carmari. Which is no fun. Yeah, I guess we'll put this guy in the bottom. Oh, do you actually get to put one back on the Oh no! 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 That's exactly what I wanted to do! Oh shit! I didn't realize. I thought you just got to take a look at it. I didn't get. I didn't realize you got to put one at the bottom of the deck. Oh, that's so much worse. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Shit! God damn it! It's <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh well, yeah, you got to see a fun reaction out of me. Um. Well, I'm going to change which planet I'm going to go to now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a strike. I'm going to have Han Solo lead a strike team on whatever you pronounce this name. And I get to, if successful, I get to move four up to four ground units from the Rebel base space into that system. And then we resolve combat. So it's military, but I get an automatic success because I'm doing it with Han Solo. So you could try to block it, or you could uh, just let it ride. And with a stolen Imperial transport with some up to four ground units from the Rebel base. Yeah. Mm, okay. Now, does the Millennium Falcon have space combat? No, no. Oh, like, if there was a capture leader here, I could dis I could remove that and get the Millennium Falcon back. Okay. I mean, and get the leader back, but lose the Millennium Falcon. Okie dokie. So, the only person you could block that with is Sumter Fell. Unless you have some, some kind of shenanigans. Yeah, let me see. But I'm not freeing anyone because it has to be in that system. Right. I was going to do that on Coruscant, but because some jerk took that card away from me, I can't do that anymore. Especially since there was only one guy there.
Well, I don't really have anything, and I'm not rolling very well, so screw it. Let's see what happens. Move your four guys in. All right. I'm going to have an air speeder and three troopers just go. I thought air speeders are worth two. It says, what does it say? It say four units, not four health. Come on, now you're stretching it. That, it says four ground units. If I had two and air speeders, speeder is not a ground unit. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Is it a space unit? How would you define a I would air speeder? Not define a two health unit as one. It says four ground units, not four health. Where are the rules? Let's see what a ground unit is defined as. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, we're gonna roll. Uh, this is gonna make a difference. Where did you put your uh, rules? Over on the side. I gu I guarantee you, and it's recorded. Uh, yeah, it I'm says not. four units, not four health. Four units. It even says ignore transport restrictions and adjacency. Did lie. It's over here. Uh, look, roll, roll, and while you're making your decision, or go ahead and do your next turn while, so like, like, filming wise is no fun. So go ahead and choose a choose a system. For my next turn, you mean? Yeah. Very well. Page seven. A unit that has an orange resource icon is a ground unit. It has an air speeder, is a orange. Fine, whatever. Alright, so I get two ground combat cards because Han Solo is leading it. I get four black and one red. You get, well, you're going to get two black. Wow. Um, so your stormtroopers triple dead, the ATST is, has one damage, so he's still alive. So you get one red from the ATST and two black, um, one black from the ATST and one black from the trooper, but the, the troopers, uh, triple dead. So you get to draw a card. This is a wild, so you can assign it to either a trooper or to one of the one of the health of that. Do you want to draw another card or or I can use yeah, this card? Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, so let's use this card. Hello. And Nick. Yeah. Go someplace. Nick. It's recording. Go someplace else. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a Get hard. up and move to another place. <laughs> yeah, I'm very cool that I was supposed to, to be there at five. Um. So let's. If it's against ground units, and this wild can be used, so I will use kill one guy, kill your land speeder, and you have two guys left. Okay, so you're dealing two damage to. Both of these things. So two damage to this guy, which kills him. One damage to this guy. Right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and block one damage, and I'll block one of the air speeder damage. So your ATST gets one damage. My air speeder gets one damage. I lose one trooper, and you lose one trooper. Inconvenient. Well, I mean, we both lost one unit. It's not that terrible. 
And if they're terrible, if they're All right, so the ATSD is dead the rest of the way. I'm gonna, since these, this doesn't do me any good anymore, I'm gonna re-roll both of these. With a card? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I get to re-roll two of my dice. So I'll get one of these cards. And reshuffle this. Alright. So, get these two cards. So, uh, you roll one black and one red. You do one damage to the air speeder, but I'm going to block two damage. So, your ATSC is dead. My troopers are all alive. The planet is still loyal to you, but since I kill three health worth of Imperial units in combat I initiated, I get to get one more victory point. Hmm. Alright then. So, that is that. It gets discarded. The good news for you is like I only have one of these cards, so at max I can only bring it one down one more. Right. So is it my turn now? Yes. Now that you've done your thing. Sneaky stuff. Your sneaky stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. Were you supposed to be at work already, or something? Or why did they call? I, did I, I was supposed to be there at four. But I was supposed to be there at five, but I should probably leave by now. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna do, uh, oh, you sneaky bastard. Uh, attempted against the captured leader. If successful, the leader is rescued. Then the rebel player must place uh, the leader in any system in the rebel base's region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sneaky bastard. Alright, so I get my motho back. Well, you're not gonna block it? Who's doing it? Uh, Lando only has one spy, and even with your shitty rolling, you're probably going to get it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have to do it in the system, huh? I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, jeez. Yeah, because you have three... Damn it, this is bad. Tell me where it is. Oh, shit. Maybe I should try to block it. Damn it. But I would get her back. Fuck. Alright. She's uh, flying back to Rodia. Is she now? Yes. Shit. I may have to start moving the rebel base. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and build alliance. And I'm going to do that on Utapau. I'm, uh, you know, get population. Again, since there's rebel units there, I will get three dice. Mm -hmm. So, you can either try to block it or had that system become loyal to me. But I won't be able to build anything there since you have uh, units there. But I what still... General something or other? Recon. Mm, and it's the yellow one? Yeah, but since there's rebel units there, I get an extra two. So I would roll three dice. Yeah, I'll try to block it. Okay. Uh, but then you won't be able to move from there. Then I won't be able to move. Which is going to be very helpful. Uh. Shit. Decisions. Yeah, decisions, decisions, right? 
Hang on, let me check something real quick. <laughs> Well, you don't have it, technically. Well, that's true. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna hold off. Do your worst. Oh, okay. So, it becomes rebel. Dramatic. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so your turn. My turn. Hmm. I have to maintain a ground unit for it to be subjugated, correct? Correct. Okay. Why don't you just like recapture Monomatha? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yep. Hmm. Ooh, would that be dirty? I think that would be a little bit dirty. Well, you can't. Well, let's like it has to have an imperial unit, which unfortunately reeking. And depending on what the wording may be, this one, if it says imperial system, or where there is an imperial unit, it says imperial unit. So that would only be Budapest, right? Unless you move someone to Dagobah just to be a jerk. Right. Right, right, right. Which I would put it past you. Alright, so I'm going to do this first. Research and development. Uh, course on. Uh-huh. Um, Alright, you know what? I'm going to... Let's just go ahead and put him on. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So, two project cards and I keep one. So, I'll discard the other. No, it's not a build phase this turn. That's coming handy. Alright, so I need to do something. <laughs> no, exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to have Lando Calrissian do his special, and he is going to do independent. Um, so this is just a thing that happens. Place this leader in a subjugated system, which Mon Calamari is. The Imperial unit must move all ground units from this system to any one Imperial system of his choice. Okay. Have to move one unit? No, you have to move them all. No, 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 but it says ground units, right? Oh shit! Fuck! I'll still do that. It won't become subjugated anymore. Yeah, so all your ground units will have. Yeah, so you have to put those in an imperial system. Okay. But I get to pick which one, right? Oh shit. Yes, I do. So, fine. Yeah, alright, so go ahead and put them in an imperial system of your choice. And they are no longer subjugated. I 
suppose that I will put these guys in an imperial system that currently... So if I put them here, it would initiate combat, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would, actually. And if I won, I would get that system back. Yes. So that may have backfired on me. So I'm going to do that. Ah, I didn't think that one through. Alright, so I get two ground combat cards. You can bring in a leader if you choose to. You still have Han Solo there? Yeah, still, Han Solo is still in the system. Um, so how many dice? Does, I, oh, he just adds the... Uh, it's ground the, combat which cards. Which I reshuffle, right? Yeah, uh, which I did, actually. Oh, did you include these two? Yeah, I did include these two. So if I bring in a hero unit, it would get me some cards too, which would help a lot. As I saw last time, I got demolished. Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, that might screw up my strategy, though. Yes or no? It has to be one of your leaders that are like open. I'm aware. <laughs> I really didn't want to use them. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't have to. You can lose that planet twice. That's fine with me. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to let it ride. Okay. So one wild, and I can't do anything with this. So I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to go ahead and draw another card, and I am going to deal one damage. So this thing has two damage on it. So you roll two red and two black. So that is a red damage only, so you do one damage to him. This is a black damage only, and this allows you to draw a card. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a card that you want to play? Uh, I do not. Okay. I'm going to block one damage, and this guy dies. And none. This guy takes one damage. So I roll the same. Three black and a red. Shoot. Um. I will draw another card with that one, and I will re-roll two of my dice. <laughs> Alright, I will draw another card with that one now. Alright. And, um, that actually, so no damage is actually coming to you this turn. So you get a red and a black to fire at me. Alright. <laughs> well, wow, alright, so that round was pointless. Um, so I roll... Sweet. Three black and a red again. <laughs> Alright, this is a wild at least. Um, but that's it. So, um, you roll a red and a black. So this guy gets one damage unless you can block it somehow. So that is a black only damage. Um, do you, do you want to play that card that you have? or I cannot play the card. Alright, so I'm going to block one damage. So you suffer, this is a low, uh, this is a very drawn out battle, mm -hmm. so there are no casualties What? once again, <laughs> and once again I roll three black and red. Alright, there we go. Um, he is dead, and 
I will use this to play Brilliant Strategy and actually allows me to draw two more cards. Because you really needed more. Yeah, because I really needed more. Um, yeah, so um, go ahead and roll a red and a black. So this is a wild. So you could either kill my guy or kill the airspeeder. You're just going to block it, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> you, you <laughs> so does it matter? You'll, I'll let you know once you make a I'll decision. kill the airspeeder. I, I, unfortunately, I can't block it this one time. So the airspeeder is actually dead, but so is your ATST. Both of them. Both of them now. And that combat is now over after multiple rounds. And you put all these guys back. Yeah. I'll go ahead and just shuffle. And put some over there. Too. Oh, yeah, I did. So how many of those did you go through? About a lot. A dozen? <laughs> yeah. To my zero. Well, I get done drawing uh, those cards. All right, so um, that was... That was your attack, right? No, no, that was me moving those guys there. Correct. So, so now it's your turn. Now it is my turn. No, I already moved my Tarkin. It's no, 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 no. Oh, I forced yeah. you to move those guys there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. it is your turn. It is my turn. Got it. Well, in that case, I am going to take Sumter Bell. And Man, you are not letting up on that planet. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring them all in, right? right if now. you were going to do that, you should have just brought those guys to Kashyyyk and then moved them over. Yeah, I should have. Because all you did was kill two airspeeders and you lost. If, if I didn't have that thing uh, originally, I, I would have done it then. I'm going to move oh. this guy with... So this guy can carry six, so that's two, four, and six guys over okay. here. And it becomes subjugated. And the rebel base is not on that planet. I kind of figured it wasn't. And now you can go. Alright, so I actually have to pass. This mission is no longer available due to a certain action that you did that I didn't expect. But your heroes can't e be used, right? I, I, they're, they're passing, like, I, I can use them to counter stuff. So they go back into your pool? They go back into my pool, like, they're just not, I just can't do any missions whenever I pass on a mission. Are you sure about that? Go ahead and do your mission, and I'll wait, look it so up. Wait, 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 your, your mission doesn't go back into your hand, though, right? Yeah, because I didn't use it. You don't know what it is. That, that seems a little... Alright, well, go ahead and do your Because mission. otherwise, I would just put all my dudes on missions, and then I'd just be like, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. Well, I can I can only block after I've passed on the mission. Yeah, so... Alright, just, just... That just uh, doesn't... I, I mean, don't... otherwise, I would just fill up all my guys with missions, and then I would just be like, oh, I'm going to pass on this mission. And put it back in my hand, and then use my guy. Well, maybe you should do that. Well, if I but but you need that guy to be available for because I always do that first mission. So you need to have someone to counter that first mission I try to do. Yeah, that seems a little fishy. All right, look, I'll look it up. Go ahead and do what you want. Okay, seems a little fishy. That's all. I'm looking it up. Looking it. Up. Sure, you're not a lawyer. <laughs> nope. Some days I am. <laughs> Not today. Alright, here we go. A player can pass at any time. After a player's passed, his turn is skipped for the rest of the command phase. After all players have passed, players proceed to the Activate. Oh, okay. So I can't, I can't, these guys can't move troops, but I can still, because command phase is activating a system or revealing a mission, and I can't do any more on the command phase. Well, maybe, uh, it's a little ambiguous actually. I'll, I'll go ahead and play it that they can't do anything. 
What about that card? Do you get to I, I, get to it discard it? It does not say anything about the the card. So I'm assuming since I actually didn't use it. But go ahead and do your mission, and I'll I'll try to read that. Okay. Because I guess that kind of does make sense. Because you would just load it up, and we're gonna have this guy pass. Because I can't do that mission. I'm going to take the Emperor and move all of these guys here. If a leader is moved off a mission, the mission card returns to the owner's hand without being revealed. And subjugate. Is your rebel base there? One second. You can't do that. Why not? Because they were here. Yeah. And this person activated them. So I just activated them again with the Emperor. Yeah, but yeah. they they just moved here. This is exactly what I told you you couldn't do before. No, you just said it was cool if I used a second hero. No, I said that you you could do a second mission in this area, but you can't like do this one and then have the Vader move them here and then you know otherwise you could just move five, have one army go five places in one turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you definitely. I said they can never move from a system that already has a leader there. I told you that. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> but now I know where you want to go later. Yes, yes, you do. All right. Well, that uh, changes things a little bit. Did not know that. But I can adapt. Well, you still have missions that you can do. Yeah, I know. I will play this one. Man, you love those project cards now. Oh shit! Oh no! There has to be an um, like read the whole card. Oh fuck! Is your rebel base there? It's not. Um, uh, yeah. I can only say that one. There's a ground unit there. Uh -huh. But you son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh yeah. So I guess my guy was gonna go there with it. <laughs> um, and then that guy goes on his turn. Level three. God damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm I'm um, I'm out of missions. Oh, I, I, I know you're out of missions. I know. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm not too uh, concerned with <laughs> that. That's a sneaky way of doing that. That's interesting. Did you like that? How I, I brought let you have Mon Mothma back and then yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be anywhere. You don't, you don't know that. Yeah, you're right. It could be. It could be. Um, well, that kind of screwed up that plan a little bit. But this is okay. I can work with this. I mean, I can't oppose you. I can't do anything. You just as well do whatever you want. I know. I will. Like, turn order doesn't matter. Um, so, question. If I move guys into here, would they battle Luke Skywalker on his own? No. Like, he he's just he's just hanging out on the planet. You don't know that he's there, technically. Okay. Well, you know he's somewhere on the planet, but... But I don't know where he is? Right. Okay. That's good to know. He doesn't suddenly become captured. Okay. Well, then I'm going to use the Emperor. I'm going to move... This guy can carry four, right? Yeah. So, one... Three, four. Okay. The rebel base is not on Dagobah. The rebel base is not on Dagobah. That is really good to know. Thank you for that. All right. Um, and then I have this mission where I'm going to capture a <laughs> rebel operative who happens to be in a space with an imperial unit. <sighs> Which you cannot, as you said, fight me on. So I will. No. Fight. He has two red. He automatically tries to resist. Okay, fine. So 
So go ahead and roll. I'm resisting. So go ahead and roll. You get three dice. And I'm going to see if... I think I get to force you to have a re-roll. I'm just going to pull that yellow card. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Sorry. Uh, So go ahead and roll. Mm -hmm. Just a sec. Fuck! Alright, I'm gonna re roll this black. Fuck! Yoink. Captured. Ah, oh, god damn you. And you captured the loop version, and I lose. You, you actually murdered Yoda. That's nice of me. Because I can only have one ring on at a time. And he goes in uh, Dagobah. Oh, he has to stay in Dagobah? Yeah. And if he's actually... If he's ever left alone and there's no Imperial units, he's freed. But you can move <laughs> him with your army. Oh, that's good. But luck. Way to go, Luke. Stupid. Well, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted, but I think it overall it you worked out You captured Luke well. Skywalker and you're building a second Death Star. I think it kind of worked out for you. It didn't quite work the way I anticipated, but it worked. That was a good turn for you. Well, you know, I had some shitty rolls, but I think I made up for it. Alright, so... We um these things get built and they go down one. You can build a shield generator here. You can build a shield generator on any planet? No, it's where I get have the um, orange square for me. The rebel base of that. Wait, I, this isn't a build turn though. This is turn five. No, it go everything goes down. Oh, I missed that. God. Like, you don't initiate new builds, but you get to... Actually, I can't build this anywhere. So it just stays in the queue. Yeah, because I've, I've got guys there. Yep. Um, okay, so this guy can only pretty much go... He can only go there. there, yeah. And then this guy can only go on my Dito. Yep. And then this dude can go in a, quite a few places, actually. Uh, but for right now, I think I'm going to put it in this subjugated world, because that helps me. And then these guys go, I'll put one on the boo, put one on. How many do I have here? Well, uh, we also get... Um, this is actually our last two leaders. Last single leader, right? Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, yeah, we draw two cards and we get our last one. I don't think I put it here. So I get to pick two leader cards to pick from. I get two more probe cards. I'm going to bring in Chewbacca. And I got two of these cards. And I have to make sure I don't have more than two. Which I don't. I'm good. And for my leader, hmm, these guys suck. That seems better. So I will discard that one and I will take. Hmm, I guess I'll take this 
Son of a beach. Please have Mom Mothra back. Okay, I'm going to do four missions. You get to go first, right? Yes. Do you want any uh, more beer? Uh, just get some it? water would be good, thanks. Let's be wuss. Think that's going to help you win? Maybe. Does the subjugated system count as an imperial system? Yeah, I believe so. I'll confirm. Okay. Yeah, so, um, loyal or subjugation. going to be an eventful turn. That it is.
What does the carbonite ring do? Well, it it puts it freezes the person, and then that allows you to capture like it's just one it's just another one of these things. So by freezing someone, it allows you to capture a second rebel leader. And uh, I think I also lose one victory point as well. Yes. Oh, so maybe I will do that. One. Yeah. Um, I think I have to play this card first. No, that's an assignment. So it's just like you would set him in your leader pool, and oh. then when you do an assignment, you'd be like, he's actually doing this mission. It's uh, like what I did with Lando. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. Okay. So you're not assigning him, assigning him now, but you can go ahead and you. It's one of the few missions you can have a like surprise a person with. I gotcha. <sighs> uh, okay. I think I'm good. Got enough missions? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have Han Solo attack the Death Star, and I can pull in adjacent units from Geonosis, and... You can? Yeah, I mean, it's just like any other leader, I'm doing a mission, and I'm not telling you where, but the Rebel base is adjacent to Tatooine, so I get to pull the units from there as well. So all these fighters are attacking the Death Star. Mm, that's a lot. Yes. Yes that's it is. Inconvenient. Yes. So I get five black. So you going first really does kind of shaft me, doesn't it? Yes. Because I have a feeling what you're about to do. And I don't want you to do that. So this is two damage. Three damage. Oh, and I get two space combat cards. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal two damage to one ship. It's five damage, and I can draw an additional one just in case. So um, the thing only has four. Um, so are you gonna send the leader to try to the man the Death Star? Or are you just gonna? What does that do burn? for me? I mean, it'll allow you to draw space cards but, but I don't have any units. Well you had the Death Star which actually it doesn't attack it or yeah it, it doesn't attack with anything on its own so yeah it's um the Death Star is destroyed. Oh well that's unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. It got me what I wanted. Yeah. It got me to freak out and do uh and do that as soon as possible. So I guess my thingy is no longer applicable. This card. Well, you kind of have to, I guess, leave that until you technically pass. Oh. Because as soon as you pass, then you can't do missions anymore. I. Got as you. we've established from the. Yes. Of yourself. Yes. Okay. So Fair. go. Fair enough. Well, that is. Uh, that's too bad, unfortunately. That would have been unpleasant for you. Yep. Quite, quite certain of that. Um, however, I will do this. It doesn't look like you have any leaders in your pool to block. No. Oh no! You're going to destroy an innocent planet where you know the rebel base isn't? I am. Because <laughs> that's the only one where you can build your carriers. Well, and Utapel. Uh, but if you yeah. want to just blow up a planet, just to blow up a planet. Well. All right. Um, it, actually, is this just a resolve? So I couldn't even block it anyway. Oh, really? So you're a monster, and you kill all those innocent Monokaramarians. Yep. <laughs> and I gain one loyalty in one populous system in this region. So I will take my loyalty on Fallujah. Yeah. The rebel base is not on Fallujah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Actually, it becomes loyal to you. Oh, sweet. Suckers. <laughs> you only murdered billions of sentient beings. You monster. 
You won't be building your ships there. <laughs> no, no, I won't. All right. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so I guess my turn. Yep. Um. I'm gonna have Princess Leia and uh, Jan Dodama. They're gonna do the greater good attempt to greater good, and I am gonna try to uh, rescue Luke Skywalker. If I'm successful, I get to draw a objective card, and the leader assigned to this mission. The, actually, the leaders, so they would both stay in Dagobah. But I would get Luke Skywalker back. Okay. So. Which, and that's the blues? Yeah, so I would be rolling with four dice. Okay, so I have to block it. Yes. And I can block it with multiple guys if I really want No, to. only one. That's if there was one already there, it would, but you can only send one person out. Well, all right then. And it can't be someone that's on a mission. Okay. So, is Luke Skywalker free? Or are you gonna... I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. See, Let's see how your dice rolls go. Yeah. So you get three, it. I get four. Blanks, blanks, blanks. So I get three. So you can beat that. Yeah. It's not easy, though. Not easy, no. Especially for you. Fuck! And I beat it. Fuck! By a lot. You got five. Yeah. Alright. Well. Sweet. Best bond. There goes that rescue attempt. Cool. So that's my go now? Yup. Alright, so. Darth Vader <laughs> is going to carbonite freeze a captured leader and who happens to be Luke Skywalker. Okay. And for his special, used during a mission after a leader is attempted rescue. Oh uh, yeah, you can't do that yet. You didn't. You didn't actually rescue. I didn't actually rescue. Him. That's yeah. okay. I would. I would have gotten another. Oh, well, now I know that you have it. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm gonna play Wookie Guardian. When your opponent attempts a spec ops mission, which is that symbol, before rolling dice, the mission automatically fails. What? Fine. So. Okay, great. That. So, he's not in Carbonite, but he's still captured. He's still captured, but he's not frozen, and there's only one Carbonite freezing card. That sucks. So, now I know that you can't, now you can't capture anyone. Good job, Chewie. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose it's your go now. Yes. Um, I'm going to do a hit and run, attempt in any system, if successful, destroy up to two um, units of, of, two health worth of units of your choice in the system. I'm going to do it on Kashyyyk, some home territory. So it's a spec ops mission, so he would roll three dice. Hmm. So you're basically trying to take out my guys. I mean, the only one you could block it with is Sunter Fell. It's not worth it. Okay. So these two guys are dead. And Kashyyyk gets liberated. Okay. That was uncomfortable. So I can't 
capture a second. No. Now, if you turn someone, if you turn Luke to the dark side, then you can capture a second person. But there's only one capture ring. Okay. But there's no way you would have known that I had Wookie Guardian. I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. Is like I, I even told you, like, even I don't know all these cards. All right, well, I'm going to play this thing, which says I search the project deck for one card of my choice and assign it to that leader, which happens to be Admiral, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then shuffle the project deck. So I get to see what we get here. Ozzel. Yeah, so this is actually where you could go ahead, like, if you didn't have the super laser and you wanted to fire it, this is like... Oh, is it where project or is it this one? It's, well, actually, what does it say? Yeah, it says project deck. Oh, so that's that one. Yeah. My bad. So this is where you can go ahead and try to build a super star destroyer or something. Yeah, but that's going to be on Space 3. It's going to take forever. Well, there's other cards that you can speed things up, too. And it would get placed now, and at the end of the turn, it will go down one. So it all by the end of this turn, it will be turn 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's not, that's not bad. Look, I don't want to face a Super Star Destroyer. <laughs> Those things are nasty. Now do you want some beer? Yeah. Because, you know, once you open a growler, you kind of have to finish it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yes, I will construct a super star destroyer. Incredible, yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, I think that's the only place yeah, you can do it. Yeah, I think that's it. the only place you can do it, too. All right, so put that in uh, slot three. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Mon Mothma build an alliance, and she is going to do it on Solist. And so I would get two extra dice. Well, there's no one that of your that can block it anyway. So actually, in that case, I'm going to do it on um, Nalhuda. Nalhuda is now loyal to me. Okay. This this X one should be here. Well, I guess I'm gonna do this. Makes okay. sense. Draw all six except one. Six health. Yeah. There. The and rebel. Can I draw these guys too? Well, um, no, they don't have, they, they don't have any transports. Yeah. Okay. You could if they had transports. So the rebel base is not on Rodia. Okay. It could, who knows where it could be? Uh, it could be. It could be anywhere. Yeah. Could be anywhere. <laughs> or it could be in one particular location <laughs> where I attempted to build a freaking <laughs> Death Star. <laughs> it was, like it was kind of a good idea, but kind of a terrible idea since I had so many fighters. Like uh, I'm like, hey, should we blow up that thing that's under construction? I uh, yeah. That's fair. So I'm going to do, um, it, um, actually it's Resolve in the Rebel Base, so it's Rapid Mobilization. I get to establish a new Rebel Base, and since I have two leaders, I get to draw the top eight cards. I get to choose one of these.
not the best of choices. No. Maybe. No. Maybe. Maybe. No. You can do your mission while I'm deciding this. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it matters a little bit. A little, I guess so. Because if you move uh, troops around. Okay, so at the end of this turn, the rebel base will be moved to this planet. So technically, if you land troops on the rebel base right now, you do have a chance to destroy it. But otherwise, at the end of this turn, it's going to be in a new location. Which is kind of bullshit. But. Well, you know, there is kind of a, there is a canon, uh, Example of them uh, fleeing uh, the base and going to a new location. Fair enough. Especially since after they rape, right after they blow up a Death Star, it's kind of exactly how it went down. They blew up the Death Star, but they ran away afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, God Travis, amazing. All right. Yeah. Fine. So we've got those dudes there. Which is a little bit inconvenient, honestly, but, uh... Yeah, I guess uh, I'll play this card after all. Imperial Propaganda. So, I'm attempting in an Imperial system. Okay. And each system in this region that has Rebel Loyalty will become neutral. Fuck you! That blows! Because this is a build turn, too. Yes, yes it is. Fuck you sideways. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do it in that spot. Yeah, you know what? I should probably do it in this spot. Okay. So, yeah, lose that loyalty. God damn you! Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit better spot to put it in. I don't like... Alright, so I'm out of people, so... You can just do whatever you want. Um, and Luke is still captured. Yeah, so... Unfortunately, I can't capture another guy, right? Nope. So I have to pass on this one. Goes back in my hand. And can I use him for anything? Nope. Yeah, as we That's where it's determined. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. He can only block. So. Well, actually, I, I think we're like, we're like, we're we, done we with that. Do yeah, we can't do anything. Okay. And then this one. Well, not that I even have any missions to do. So yeah. This one I can't do either. I got past. I think someone's trying to blow up a, a planet, maybe. What? All right. And I would never do that. Yeah. Jeez. Travis, blow up a planet of innocent people. <laughs> I could. Yeah. It's like I couldn't let that Death Star survive. Like I had to take it out. Oh, believe me. Yeah. If you hadn't, let me let me just tell you. The game would have been over. The game would have been over. Yeah. If you hadn't have taken that out on turn one. It is nice that the rebels always go first. So the rebel base happened to be on the planet. I, I won't tell you where it was. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put it back in the probe deck. And now it is at a new location. Um, so this so is a... So all your fighters stay on Tatooine? That's convenient for me. Yeah. Except I go first, and uh, you remember one of my objective types? Nope. One was if I, well, I, I don't need to go into deep, but we do a build build turn. Oh, so these guys get built. Well, actually, first you put your number ones oh, down, oh, and then you, oh, yeah, then you yeah. do it over. Okay. So you've only got those these two. These two. Oh, and uh, these two. Oh. Yeah, because uh, <coughs> there was a reason why I liberated Kashyyyk that turn. Mm, I got you. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, there's a reason I took this guy instead of those two. Oh, I mean, the fact that these things are going to sit there probably forever because you blew <laughs> up on Karamari, I'm never going to be able to build anything there. So even if you leave, it, like, even if your Death Star leaves, it's, it's just, it's just... Gosh, it's almost like I planned it that it, way. It is, you're, you're a mass murderer. There's no other way to describe it. Well, if that's what it takes. 
All those squid people. You're uh, a monster. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have any missions that I can declare because Luke is still captured. So TIE Fighter. Okay. Two more missions. Big of, uh, oh, so I got a capital ship on three. And I also get a TIE Fighter on three. Yep. And those two. Now Naboo is only a little dude. Yeah, only a guy. Rodia is only a little dude. Now stairs a little dude. Really, I just did. Persons a little dude. And the other ones I lost control of. This one I get the. ATAT -AT and a TIE Fighter. On you may be almost out of ATATs by this point. Uh, yeah, I am actually. That's the last one I can build. So that one. Fallujah, I got one little dude. Oh, and that planet I blew up, so nobody's getting anything out of there. Holy oh, cow. Looks like you have a lot of cards there. I got one, two, three, four, five. I have nine. Hmm. All right, fair enough. So two of these, I dropped two probes. Hmm. No surprise there. So now these guys get built, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I should have done that too. And then these guys all moved down. Long live the Wookiees. I don't think I can place this last guy. It, then it goes back into build one. Right. Okay, um, we're going to do these four missions. Okay. So overall, like, what do you think of the game so far? I like it. It's really good, actually. I'm a little frustrated that I have to start from scratch with this rebel base, though. Yeah. Oh, did you draw to pro? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did that. You know, um, something that I do is if I... It has a little region symbol at the bottom of the card. So I kind of organize it by region. 
Mm. So, like, if a whole region is, you know, you know it's locked up either by you have troops there or, uh, or by, you know, you can kind of set that aside and know that it can't be there anymore. But you capturing Mon Matha and then releasing her, like you were very close to victory. Um, well, to be quite honest with you, I mean, yeah, all things aside, I had a card that would have finished the Death Star, and then I could have fired it. Well, actually, I think you can fire it even if it's not finished, right? Or actually, can I see the super laser card? I'm not sure if it's a finished Death Star or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, you're right. I did not know that. Oh, no, no. This is a different one. This is Display of Power. Do you have, like, the Super, super laser, laser Card? Well, it says Contains a Death Star, so I think that actually is the finished one. Yeah. But there is a card that allows you to do it with a constructed one, I believe. Really? Yeah, I think it's, like, one of the... I think it... We can look through the deck, but I think it may be one of the powers. Interesting. This is a little frustrating. I don't know where to go. Well, it's wherever you don't have a unit. And most likely, wherever is adjacent to where you have a unit. Yeah. And a probe, obviously. And door. You got me. <laughs> Tatooine was a good first location if it was or was not there. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. I can no I can not confirm nor deny that it was there. Neither confirm nor deny. capture more than one of your heroes. Well, if you had been able to successfully carbonite freeze Luke, then right. you would. Right, right. And again, it was only because Chewbacca in a clutch is like had a magic card. I had a magic card. <laughs> but you have some magic cards too. Yeah. No, I mean it, some of it is luck just depending on which cards you have at the time. Yeah. But I think overall it's pretty balanced. Because, like, I'm still a few turns away, like, you know, all you need to do is blow up the base, and, like, you, you have at least five turns to do it unless I, like, complete some of my objectives. Mm -hmm. Alright, speaking of completing objectives, um, I'm going to have Han Solo attack Rodia, and he's going to attack with all the fighters on Tatooine and Geonosis. He's pulling from all of them. Wow. You just really want to brutalize the uh, poor little dudes. Yeah. Just well, I'm not bringing in any ground troops. I'm just on this uh, that star destroyer. It's looking pretty. So you can either bring in a hero, and also if you're like after one round of combat, you can also retreat too. Oh, I can. Yeah. It's actually never come up because most of our combat has been ground combat mm -hmm. where we, where I don't have a transport ship so I couldn't have left or you don't have a transport ship so you couldn't have left. But in this battle, if I don't kill you in the first round, you can choose to um, hyperspace out. I got you. But it would have to be to like one of your own planets. 
you couldn't like <laughs> choose to retreat to geodosis or anything. Understood. So. Um. <laughs> so yeah, Han Solo would bring in two cards. Two space combat. How cards. many dice do each one of those things get? Um, I would have roll three red, and I can only roll a max of five, so I would m roll five blacks and three reds. Oh, so I can't roll more than five with those dudes? Well, a, a five of one color. Oh, okay. Because there's only five dice, and it kind of like created a limit that you couldn't have this like unstoppable fleet that would just go from planet to planet. I gotcha. But there is also a space card like, where you can't retrieve, but that's relatively rare. Hmm. Like, I think there's only one or two of that, Max. But, the but this, this only counts as one combat, so each roll is still the same battle. Right. Like, we would roll once... If you're still alive, you would have the option to either retreat or to stay there and continue fighting. Mm -hmm. And like, then it would keep on going until one of us retreats or one of us loses all of our units, all of our space units, since there's no ground combat. Okay. I guess I'll use this then. All right, so. Well, so this is actually an assignment. So, I can't use it. No, like this, you're you're essentially you're countering me in combat, but you get two space cards. Oh, but so I can't use this guy to counter you, and then use no, this card? no, that's an assignment. Like you have to like assign him on that mission, but you can bring an emperor, and you'll get three cards. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do then, and I uh, will use this. That was my second choice. For the first round of combat, the player rolls one fewer red die and two fewer black die. Wow, that's going to help you a lot, actually. Well, it was that, or I was hoping to get four more TIE fighters in. But, yeah, what are you going to do, right? No, I mean, this is that's a pretty darn decent card. So, um, Okay, so I should be rolling six. Minus two, so I get four black die. I should be rolling three, but minus one, I get two red die. And it's for the first round of combat. Okay. That's pretty good. That, that's a good card. Ooh, blank, blank. Alright, so this is a fighter only combat. This is a two wilds. I'll choose to have them both go to the Star Destroyer. I'm gonna use this to get another card and then I will do Unstoppable Force. You can't block damage this turn. So you roll two black no, three black, actually. How much health do each of your dudes have? Well, they're all one. Oh, they're all one. Yeah. Okay. They're only fighters. All fighters are just one. Okay. So you get three black, and you get two red. So two damage is going to this guy. And actually, since you can't block, it's just... Yeah, yeah I just take the damage. Yep. Okay. okay. All right, so I get... This is how many things I get? Yeah, um, for your two TIE Fighters, and then your Star Destroyer gets one black and two reds. Hmm. Wish I had gotten those four other TIE Fighters in. Oh well. This will be okay. But you could counter me, actually. Like, if you want to swoop in afterwards. But, but either way, we'll do the first round of combat. What do you mean I can counter you? Well, like... Like, let's say this combat's over and you retreat, then you could actually send him there on an assignment. And oh, then, oh, but I don't know yeah. if you would even want to since there's so many. That's more of like, oh, there's a transport by itself. I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is not ideal, but 
Alright, so this is a red only damage, so there's nothing there. You can kill an X Wing or a Y Wing, your choice. Um, I suppose the Y Wing? Yeah, that's a, that's a better option. And um, you can draw a space card. And also, um, if you have any space cards to dish out. Yes, I do. Um, so I'm going to deal one damage. Okay. So I will kill another Y Wing. Okay, makes sense. And then you cannot retreat. Okay, I wasn't planning to, but okay. Doesn't. I'm going to deal one damage as well. I'm going to kill your other TIE fighter. Mm, but you already had your turn. Well, you can play cards whenever you want. Oh, so I could have blocked before you cast the no block card? No, that, the, the, oh no, that was, that was just in the begin. like that rolled my dice and like that's my, like that doesn't make, it, it just says like you can't do it like this whole turn, so, like it doesn't matter in the order. And I'm going to block the damage, so I'm going to save one of my Y wings. So, the end of this round, you lose two of your TIE Fighters, I lose one of my Y-Wings, and your Star Destroyer takes two damage. Are you going to keep it there, or are you going to retreat? If I retreat, does it heal? Yes. Mm, then I will retreat. Where are you going to retreat to? I have to retreat to an adjacent yeah. territory that I own? Yes. Uh, then Naboo. Yep. Okay. And he actually goes with them. Like, he, yeah. he's retreating them. Makes sense. Yeah. That actually worked out for you, because if I was able to bring down that Star Destroyer, there may or may not have been an objective card that would have been related to that. Mm. So, that worked out for you. Cool. Okay. So, your turn? My turn. Okay, well. Yeah, so it's removed at the end of combat, so the thing is at full health. Cool. Which blows. Which is pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. Emergency repairs after emergency hyperspace jump. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Um, I'm going to play this card, and I will do it on this system. What happens? Uh, wait, resolving any system that contains an Imperial unit, and no Rebel units. Actually, I will do it on this system then. And choose one Imperial unit on space one or two in the build queue, and deploy it to the system. Oh my god. Oh no. Wow. <coughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yes. Well, just think, if this was the Death Star yeah. last turn... Oh, yeah, you're right. But that's still pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. You will. Damn. Alright. Um, that was pretty awesome. Um... It's not so much of a factor anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and sabotage Corella. Because I was going to try to prevent you from building that thing there. Um, so it's, um, it, it just, it's just a sabotage marker. Because I do. It just makes it so you can't deploy units there. Oh. Well, alright. I guess that's... Where's the sabotage thing? Okay. So you're just going to let it happen? Yeah. Okay. No need to block that. Okay. You can keep that. Alright, your turn. Um, okay, so I am going to probably piss you off a little bit. Interrogate Luke Skywalker. Oh my gosh. Um, so if successful... Don't talk, Luke. The Rebel player must name three systems. Uh, One of these systems must contain the Rebel base. Uh, okay, so how, do I get to defend it all? Attempt against any capture leader. Count all skill icons during this attempt. Okay. So... I am actually gonna. I'm gonna have um. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? You can't have people move in. I'm, I'm having. He's he's helping them out. But he doesn't have I any blues. Thing. But it says, it says, uh, count all skill icons during this, this, uh, this attempt. So it doesn't matter if it's blue or not. Yeah, I mean, I think I need to have some blue, but Luke has blue. Well, that's weak. I wouldn't have done it if I'd known that. I mean, I'll allow you to go ahead and assign a second person if you want. Even though I shouldn't be doing that since you I think really it'd be like, oh. No, I mean, you shouldn't do that. I just, all I, right. I didn't realize it was like, I got to count all the skills. Cause then well, I, was, I mean, it says that on the card. Well, I realized that, but I thought it, it meant all the blue skills. Why would it say that if it says you get to count all the skills? Well, it's an interrogation. I don't know. It just seems to make sense. I mean, so I'm going to roll up the wazoo, but... Well, no, you, you're limited to five dice, right? That's what you Five of each color. Eh, come on now. <laughs> so I would have one, two, three... Well, five for Luke and three for him. Yeah, so that seems eight. a little excessive. Let me see the rule book on that. I mean, it says that right on there. I see what it says. So it was an interrogation? It sends an attempt against a captured leader. It doesn't say you can help the captured You can always leader. send in someone in. No, you can't. Not if you're being interrogated. Some guy can't come into the room and be like, Luke, buddy, don't worry, I got this. That seems a little... I mean, all right. If you want to say that it's all the skill icons, I would buy that. But, but I, would not, exactly I would not buy that. helping from somebody else. I, I I would just let it ride, especially since I would roll five dice and you would only roll three. I would roll five. No, you would roll three. You get a, you get a plus two, but it you would still only roll three dice. I would roll three plus a two. Yeah. No. Well, you would roll three plus a automatic two. Right. Right. But um, okay. So let's do. It will be under countering. So, because um, Travis is being litigious, we're going to go ahead and um, do some exciting um, reading the reading the rules. <laughs> Alright, so we are doing assigning a mission. Where I think that? anyone who has taken the time to watch it this, this far wants to know the answer as well. Alright, opposing a mission. After a player declares that he's attempting a mission, his opponent has a chance to send one leader from his leader pole to oppose that mission. Opposing leader is placed in that system where the mission is being attempted. Is that clear enough for you? So I roll eight dice. Let me see that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Just give me the rule book. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting it back out. Alright, so... That just seems like utter nonsense, because then you could block the shit out of that card so easily, and it's such a valuable card. Otherwise. Well, that's why you should have sent two people to do it. Well, I didn't realize that was something I had to do. So, uh, the first uh, section of a opposing a mission. I mean, I read it to you word for word. I didn't make it up. It says the combined number of skill icons on all his late <laughs> <That's sad. laughs> He rolls dice only for skill icons that match the mission skill requirement. But that one... stupid card says otherwise. Yeah. He's losing... Well, see, the thing is, is, like, with Leia, Leia is, like, a hodgepodge of things, but she's overall strong in the Force, so that's why she has a total of five different icons. She's very flexible, but she can resist probe droids. Look, can we move on with the game? Because Go, very roll, roll your dice. Alright, so I'm rolling eight dice. 
<laughs> against your three plus two. Alright, so I got six, seven, eight. So you can't even possibly do that because you would have to get four doubles. But you can roll it if you want. No, actually, if actually, you, if you roll can, all doubles. No, I can tie it, which is an automatic win for you. Yeah. So it doesn't even make sense. Okay. That basically nerfs a really good card. I think that is way overpowered. Well, you should have sent two people to do it. Well, if I had known that, I would have thought of sending two. You still have Luke Skywalker captured. It's just frustrating. I could list a bunch of plans where he's not on if it makes you feel better. The Rebel base may or may not be on Coruscant. Mustafar. Malastare. Montgomery. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do my mission now. Grump, grumpy Puss. Um, I'm going to do Build Alliance. And I am going to do that on Solist. No, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it in Solist. So we're going to try to block her. She gets five dice, so it's kind of crazy if, if you would, because there's troops there. What are you doing? Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it on Udipal. So I'm going to try to win over the Utapalians again. But I actually can't deploy when you have troops there anyway, but... Yeah. So you're going to try to block it? I get five, you would only roll a two, so it would be kind of crazy if you did, so... Utapal is now under rebel control. Mm -hmm. So do your next turn. Grumpy pants. <laughs> You still also had a superstar star come out of nowhere. Remove the sabotage and draw us a, a project card. You're not gonna let me uh, keep that around, huh? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna have contingency plan. Assign this leader to a starting mission from your hand, even one that has already been attempted. If Lando Calrissian is assigned to this mission, he gains two additional successes when he attempts the mission later this round. So I'm going to try to sabotage uh, Corellia again. <clears throat> With Lando? Yeah. And it's just one engineering? Or one actual spec ops, but he gets a guaranteed double. Actually, can I have the robot? I, it's, it's. I'm just seeing if uh, Chewbacca would actually count towards that. I think it's only with defense, but I'm double checking. So I can't actually block it with anybody who doesn't have engineering, right? Oh yeah, so I, yeah, I guess it just happens. I mean, unless Tarkin can block it, but I don't think he can. Oh, so I, oh no, wait, 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 no, I misunderstood. So you're using this to replay your... Sabotage. Which... Is a military. So I guess oh, I Oh, so I can block it with a military. Yeah, I guess that's true. So. Um... Nah, go ahead. I don't care. 
Okay, so it's sabotaged again. Let's get this card. That would actually probably be best, maybe for build alliance. I probably because that way you could actually get two planets on your political side in one turn. Yeah. But all right, your turn. All right. Attempt against a rebel leader that is in any system. If successful, that leader does not return to the leader pool during the next refresh. Okay. So he's not captured. He's detained. Correct. Yeah, so and you can do that to any leader anywhere. Correct. So do I do it to Han Solo or Mon Mothra? Or you can do it to Lando. You can do, I it, can do it to wh whoever I want. Yeah, you can do it I to got that. Yeah. But Mon Mothra and Han Solo are the most troublemakers. Yep. Especially since that Millennium Falcon thing. Uh, hmm. Well, we killed one growler. Well, I'm gonna do it against Han. Okay. Probably the best Perfect. choice since it's um the Millennium Falcon ring is like there and stuff as well. Yep. All right. Um, my last mission. I'm doing a daring rescue. I'm gonna try to rescue. Uh, Luke. So I guess it resolved? No, it's attempt in any system, and it's a uh, spec ops. And since um, this dude's already there, he's already counting as defending. No, 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 I meant the detained. Oh, actually. Well, I didn't have anyone to block it, so yeah, technically that was. It just resolved. Well, attempt. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess technically you're right. So I would roll two dice. You would roll one, but, but you get an automatic, automatic double. I get an automatic double. Oh shit, you better roll at least. Actually, you need to roll a double. Fuck me. I should have gone after Mon Mothra. Alright, so it's tied, so it's blocked. But yeah, you should have gone after Mon Mothra. I guess I should have. Because uh, she, she wouldn't have been able, able to roll anything. Shit. Another mistake. He just had to go for Han Solo, the charming face. All right, so back to this. I didn't think about it close enough. So I'm rolling four. You're already actually rolling three. Mm -hmm. So you actually have a pretty good chance of blocking it as is. I can bring in another guy to block. You can bring in another guy to block it. So let me see the card, though. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to rescue Luke Skywalker. Any system that contains a successful rescue. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, but I'm aware you can't do your sneaky, um, is your destiny thing. I'm aware of that. Well, I showed it to you, so yeah. Yeah. Um, but Luke Skywalker is worth more than any of the other ones. That's probably. Especially since he is a Jedi Knight. That's probably true. And if he defeats Vader in battle. Screw it. I'm blocking. Alright, so you get five die. To your four. And to your four. So this is the one... You have, like, you better roll well because one, you win ties and you have more dice than me. And I rolled pretty damn well. Alright, so that is five successes. <laughs> wow. Luke Skywalker is rescued. So he goes back to the rebel base. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Dice rolls are not your friend. But you can be uh, you can't do your thing now. Uh can I? It says special, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can just play it right now. Because that's, that's what I did with um, Chewbac Chewie. Alright, so then I'll use Darth Vader and capture one leader who <laughs> attempted the mission. So I'm assuming you want Leia? Yeah. yeah. Kind of irritating that my dice rolls were that bad. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty terrible. But at least this one is just a thing that happens. 
Right, so it's your turn. And I don't have anyone to block anything, so you can just do whatever. Yeah. Super. Uh, You still got a captured leader. Yeah. Quite a few stakes this round, though, that have hurt me quite a bit. Which is uh, unfortunate. Yeah, this was a good round for me overall. But you did keep me from destroying your, your Star Destroyer. Well, mm -hmm. there's actually really nowhere where having four TIE Fighters show up would actually be all that useful. Because there's no, like, random transport left on its own. Like, if you show up here, you'll lose. Just straight up. So, like, five X, six X wings and two Y wings? Like, you'll lose. I guess technically you could have them show up here, right? Correct. So, I guess you could do that. Or you could have this massive army go to another planet and add it to your subjugation empire. Because now that you have no idea where the rebel base is again. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm going to put this guy somewhere. Actually, the only one you can move is either the Death Star or this fleet. Because you did a mission here. There's a butt ton of guys here. Uh, there's no hyperspace. These guys are locked down. Wait. Oh, I you could do it here, actually. You could move these guys. So I can't move those dudes? No, because the Emperor's there and Oswald is there. Hmm. What if I put him here? No. I mean, you could put him here and then... Uh, no, you can't. Because, you know, like, these troops were used in various missions. Like, they all have multiple Imperial leaders. Mm-hmm. We got a fleet right here. And there's two double-build planets right there for you to, like, check out. Yeah, you're awfully uh, enthusiastic about me moving there. Or you can move this Death Star from patrolling the blown up planet that's not going to do anyone any good ever again because you're a monster. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> hmm. So I can't do these guys, huh? Nope. You had Tarkin remove the first sabotage there. Oh, that's inconvenient. I mean, Mandalore is a decent planet. You get a trooper and a TIE fighter every turn. Mm-hmm. And it's a... No, it's not an alternative, but either way. Well, you're making your 30-minute long decision. Aren't you? Yes.
afterwards you move your guys or <laughs> holy cow you still haven't decided oh yeah like just move that to another planet like that's the no-brainer choice like you get the cap you get to subjugate another planet right now and both of them are double double um builds like there's that's never bad mm-hmm I think this turn might have lost the game for me. There's still a few turns left. Because unfortunately, you keeping your Star Destroyer alive, like, that that uh, that cost me a victory point. And now there's, there's a Super Star Destroyer there. It's um, le much less uh, appealing of a target. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So can Assault Carriers attack ground units? Um, there is like a card where you like it's like all your red dice that you have in orbit can be applied, but for the most part, no. Okay. But they do trans. Actually, yeah. Between these two plants, this one is objectively more valuable because it is ATSTs and assault carriers rather than just fighters and and stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. But you could start a nice, nasty campaign of uh, taking away people from it. Ah, <sighs> hate to leave that Death Star up there by itself. Well, since you have no idea where the base is, you really wouldn't even know which direction to start moving it in. And unless you were going to go here just to blow up a planet with two dudes on it, it's kind of worthless. Sure. Alright, fine. The rebel base is not on that planet, by the way. I didn't suspect that it was. Yeah. It would be pretty dumb for me to put it there. So I'll move these two dudes. Well, they actually have three health, so you can still bring... Oh, no, never mind, it has six. It has okay. Six. Jeez. Oh, so it becomes subjugated. Yes. Uh, All right, that is the end of uh, this turn. So we're on turn seven. So the things go down the build queue. I can't build anything because you're a jerk. You can. And... I get all my leaders back except for Leia, because now she's. You still got a pretty decent shot. It helped that I moved the rebel base. That beat me up pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Because even if I did destroy the star, like you would have a super star destroyer. Super star destroyers are nasty. All right, go ahead. Um. All right. So which one do you want to do first? I'm going to do a covert operation in Naboo and that allows me to look at the top two cards and choose one and put the other one at the bottom of the deck rather than put it at the top. So it's just a souped up version of the infiltration. So I would roll three spy if, I, if you decide to block it.
Go ahead. Yeah. What do we got here? I'll go ahead and uh, choose this one, put the other one at the bottom of the deck. Alright, your turn. Get started. Attempt in any system and successful, the player must have the real base of that system. And that is spy. Uh, I'll go ahead and try to block it. Even with your dice rolls, you're probably going to win this. But that's a powerful card. And it's always worth trying. Stop. Alright, so I got one. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man! I am doomed to fail. <laughs> <sighs> Too bad you didn't have whatever his face is for that mission. Wow. Alright, well. Alright, my turn. Wow. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to build alliance in Solist. Um, so I normally only get one, but because there's rebel troopers there, I get two. So it would be three dice. Gain one loyalty in the system. Yeah. This is the recurring one. This is the one I do all the time. I mean, you can block it. You got the Emperor. He has three political power. It would be an even fight. And more than even, since you win ties. No. <laughs> you don't trust your roles anymore. I really don't. Yeah. The gods have been mean to you. <laughs> have a rough time with these rules, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to disagree with you there. Okay. So yeah, whatever mission or movement you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got that giant ass fleet in Corellia. Yep. card. I'm going to pull four TIE Fighters from my Yuto. Yeah. To Solace. And I'm going to use his hero power to pull guys from all the surrounding systems. That's, that's just like movement. This is an assignment. Yeah. I'm so I can't do a movement and an assignment at the same time? No. Definitely what? not. Because like I didn't say like he's doing this mission and pulling from it. I'm guaranteed with the rules. I, I know exactly where that is. Cause you either do a you either activate a system or you reveal a mission. You reveal the mission. Let me see. Right here. But doing one of the following. You this isn't a mission. Yeah, you revealed the mission. This isn't a mission. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it? one of the special hero cards. What does it say at the end of the top of it? Assignment. It's a scouting mission, but that's 
it's not one of these mission cards. I mean, do you really want all the units pulled from there? Use a leader on a mission card. Yeah, a mission card. But, like, these are, like... Where does it that's cover those, those side cards? That's in the advanced rules, which is separate. Yeah, I can go ahead and... Assignment. Now this is an assignment phase, and that's an assignment. No, it's an action card. So it is used during the assignment phase. Instead of assigning a leader to a mission, the player can flip the card face up and resolve its ability. Which he did. So it acts as a mission. Okay, well. I mean, you can, like, then choose I not to do that. That's then I won't do that. Okay. Because that is not very helpful to me at this particular moment. Okay. So let's try this again. Tarkin. Now Tarkin, yeah, he can pull in as many people as he wants. Which is fantastic, because that's exactly what I want to do. Because there is a lot of fucking units in adjacent to him. I want to pull. I'm just going to put it here. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll do the fight. That's fine. Holy cow. One, two. <laughs> Someone doesn't like Celestians uh, or whatever their names are. Three, four goes with this guy. One, two, yeah. There's enough transports for all this. Holy shit. <laughs> and then this guy... I have to keep some dudes... Well, there. you can move her with him. Oh. So you could say she's now there. Yeah, she's she's moving too. Yeah. And Dagobah is abandoned because it's useless to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's no point. Okay. Holy cow. <laughs> so that all goes to Solus. Okay. Um, so the rebel base is not there. Well, um... Yeah. You, we both get one ground combat card. Since I have so fewer units, I'll just go ahead and roll first. I get one red and three black. Because two from the troopers and one from the airspeeder. Mm -hmm. Not that it's going to do much harm to you. Alright, so... Oops. More than I cared. So two stormtroopers are dead. And one damage to the ATST. Um, I'm not going to play any cards. I am going to block a damage to a stormtrooper. Okay. So that guy's still alive. Yeah. Okay. And I have a shit ton. Yeah. Uh, a literal shit ton. <coughs> so so you're at the max for probably both. five for black. Actually, you only have, you only get two reds, and you get more than five blacks, but you can only have up to five blacks. Okay. And this only gets one damage, so. And that guy is? If that guy has one damage on him. Okay, but he's still fighting. Right, he's still fighting, but you can only roll up to five. Okay. So the snow speeder gets one, and then I draw a card, right? No, well, I mean, you roll all your dice at... Okay. Yeah, okay, you got some kills in. So you kill these guys more, one of them twice over, one of them once. Um, the airspeeder takes one damage from here. And then one damage from yeah, there. one damage from there. And you could draw an additional card if you choose to. Well, I'll draw it just to see if I get a block. Yeah. Uh, which I do not. Alright, so I get a block one damage. I'm going to block one of these damage. So, these two guys are dead of, of mine. You lose one guy, and we each have one one injured guy. Yeah. Just, like, you won that engagement. Um, so I roll a black and a red. 
and I get to do one more damage on you and draw an additional card and so you're you're dead unless you block anything and then again you still get the five blacks yeah. and two reds um, so. and this already has one damage on it so all you need is one damage and he's dead which you got and you can draw an additional card you just as well just to see if you can block damage. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to discard this one to block two damage. Too. Okay, so I lose my air speeder. And my ATST is alive. Everything is alive. And uh, you. I lost one stormtrooper. Yeah, you. And then this is subjugated. Yeah, you. You F that planet up pretty bad. And you have a fleet of a ma un like a completely unassailable size on that planet. So, yeah. All right. So that was that did exactly what you were wanting to happen. Yep. Sure did. Um. I'll go ahead and sabotage. I think you stole one of the guys from Mel's. Oh yeah, you're right. It was one guy I lost there. I'll go ahead and sabotage um, Magneto. So I'm only rolling with one, one red. Magneto. Yes. Okay. So you can either block it, or I mean, even with your dice rolls, you could probably stop it from happening. Jeez, I would hope so. All right. Three dice versus one. And you win ties. Like, if you don't win it, you should just go home now. Thanks. That's <laughs> helpful. Um, yeah, I will block it. But only with the two. Not with Vader? Not with Vader. Okay, so I only roll one dice. Got one. All you need is one. Oh, you, <laughs> you, you didn't even want to roll both at the same time. That's why. That's why. Right there. <laughs> All right. So it's blocked. So it is possible you can't block one of my attempts, and you can't win in a dice roll. Apparently. Apparently. All right. Um. Your turn. Okay. Recovering from all that nonsense. <laughs> That's a good summer ale. It is pretty tasty. Alright, I'm going to play research and development. Okay, makes sense. And remove the sabotage. Gotcha. And pull a project card. I'm going to pull a sneak attack. And I'm going to do a temporary alliance with Mon Mothma. And sneak attack? Well, no, it's it's just, um, it's not a sneak attack. But I get to go to any neutral system and add that to my build queue. On the build queue. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do that in Mandalore. Okay. So you can either block it. Or no, it's actually, it doesn't say attempt, so it just happens. Okay. So... I just get a infantry unit and a fighter on one. On one. That's all. Uh, that's it's irritating, but okay. I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing. Hey, I was that thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the white wing is still a. Uh, it's still a triangle. I could build a transport, just check, just but check. transports suck crap. <laughs> just checking. They're two health and no combat whatsoever. Um, okay. So I guess technically there is one in my rebel base, but I'm like never going to use it. So I am going to. Jeez. Resolve in any imperial system that has a blue resource icon, which happens to be this yes. one. Yes. And build a superstar destroyer. Yeah. I don't want you to have two of those things roaming the galaxy. Uh, okay, so last mission. Um, 
Rogue Squadron Raid. Attempt in any Imperial system. I will go ahead and... Well, actually, that's technically not an Imperial system, since you don't... Nope. Wow, you don't have any Imperial systems left. Nope. Um, I'll go ahead and do it here. So, it allows me to kill up to four health worth of unit in the build queue. Up to four health worth of units of your choice on the build queue. So, I would be rolling with five red, like, five dice. Well, the only thing you can kill are my TIE Fighters. Well, and the Star Destroyer. Not the Super Star Destroyer, because the Star uh, Super the Star, Star Destroyer, Destroyer is health. worth four. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> and you're rolling with five. Yeah, I'm rolling with five. Like I'm ro I'm rolling in deep. That's harsh. That's pretty harsh. Was it did you block Did I rescue her? No. You blocked that, didn't you? Yeah. Well actually I'm gonna go ahead and do it in this system then. Why? Because if I succeed, I can discard the Millennium Falcon and rescue a person. What? That's what is that a thing? That's that's why I had the Millennium Falcon ring. I told you that from the beginning. I don't know if you told me that exactly. <sighs> Alright, go ahead and read that. You mean the one that you just pulled from the discard pile? No, read what it says. Uh, after you succeed at a mission in the Millennium Falcon system, discard this ring and rescue one captured leader. What? What's that? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> well, then I guess I will block you. Yes, that would make sense. So I'm gonna roll five. So who are you gonna bring on to try to block it? Darth Vader. Alright. I don't have legs, otherwise I would have a guaranteed two success. And I rolled pretty shitty. I rolled a Travis, as, as we call it. Thank you. <laughs> you can keep your garbage. You blocked it. You blocked it hard, so... It, Sweet. You still get your Star Destroyer, and uh, Leia is not rescued. That is a good outcome for me. Yeah. I appreciate that. Alright, so I'm done, so... You are completely done. You cannot block anything. I cannot block anything. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um... I'm officially buzzed. Because <laughs> I've had, I think, I think at least three full, full beers. You're, you're only at two. Yeah. I did open the cider, so we could eat it at it, and I also have bottles of various things. And Monica's going to pick you up anyway, right? Nope. I, huh. I tried to get her to pick me up, she said no. <laughs> I think I need to get that Death Star moving. But to where? You have no idea where the Ripple Base is. You are correct, sir. I do not. But it's not doing anything, just sitting there. Well, seeing as the next turn is a build turn, I'm going to at least... That makes sense. You get an extra ground trooper. Get a ground trooper over there. I guess I'll have to leave the ATAT -AT there. Yeah. It had some overkill for uh, governance. <laughs> Subjugation. But like, yeah, we're not going to mess with the ATAT. -AT. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you get to go ahead and do your other mission if, if you can't even do them. I can do it. I just have no idea where to put it. What is it? Planetary Conquest. Oh! You should not have done that right now. Like, I mean, it, you could win the game right now if you get really lucky, but right. otherwise you could just pass on it and keep it in your hand. Like, th that is like spinning the will because if you choose right, you win the game right now because there's only three guys in the Rebel base system. But if you choose wrong, then you're not going to have that card later on. Correct. Yeah. 
But now that I know you have that card, I'm a little scared for to make sure that you never find out where the rebel base is. Well, for those of you playing at home, there are only a few possible places where there could be a rebel base, and therefore I am going to spin the wheel, I think, and take a gamble. If nothing else, it will eliminate one of these worlds. Yeah, but there's only one of that card. Like, you, like, I would hold on to it, but I'm also saying that as a person that you could potentially defeat right now. Based on my estimate, there are five worlds that could possibly be holding the rebel base currently. So that's a 20% chance. It's a 20% chance. But if you wait till the end of the turn, you'll get another two probe droids, at least. Not to mention if you do other missions and get even more. Yep, that is also true. And I'm not about to win. Like, you have a few turns left. Yeah, you definitely do. Because I didn't, I didn't fulfill any of these, because you're a jerk. Yep. <laughs> it is going to be a little bit challenging to figure out where it is. 20% is not great odds. No, it's not. And there's only one of that card. And that card is awesome. Against my better judgment, I'm going to hold off and pass. Just just for the viewers, what planet would you think? Or do you not even want to tell me because that would tip off where you think you think it is? Well, you know what? I'll write it down for you if you want and you can see at the end. <coughs> yeah. No, that, that, that would be interesting. Can I write on this? Yeah, that's fine. Here right. we go. All right. Don't look now. All right. Here. I am I am curious to see this at the end. I don't know if you're gonna get it right, but it is kind of interesting. Still got Leia. Oh, you know what? There was one I missed. So now it's this one in six chance. Yep. Yeah, that's not great odds. It is not great odds. And I'll put a star next to the little one that I think it is. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and flip that over. You can uh, really leave that for the end. So we're going to go up a turn. Uh, so we do our build queue. I still don't get anything because you have this planet blockaded like no one's business. Get one on Ryloth. Get a. Do that. I got two probes. And I got two of these. You can't believe you blew up Mon Calamari. What a monster. What a monster. Alright, I think I'm done with Mon. Or do I have this planet? No, I don't have that planet. Because you subjugated it hard. Yeah. Like, as hard as you can subjugate a planet, you've subjugated it. Yep. Alright, so that's my build queue. Oh, do I have to do build stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, one, of, one of the build turns. I'm not. Oh no, that's not true. Is she? Cr 
I don't think I'm ever gonna build a Mon Karmari cruiser. Ever. That's okay with me. Uh, all those Mon Karmari that you just murdered. And you knew that the base wasn't even there. That's the thing that makes you extra evil. Hey, you were about to retake that <laughs> and build some of your cruisers. Yeah. No, the Monterey cruisers are good. So that was not an option I was willing to accept. Oops. Yeah, so I get two of these. Am I still less than ten? Yeah, I am. I'm still a nine. I'm perpetual nine. So, like, have you resolved? You gotta do your build queue first, man. Yeah, I will in a sec. <laughs> what difference does that make? I guess not that much. I was about to do a mission with uh, Princess Leia, and I was like, "Womp womp, oops, <laughs> that's not gonna work." So I'll do my build thingy. It's a pretty serious womp womp. So. Oh no! First you do all your planets, and then you do, then you move them down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you have quite a few systems. You probably actually gonna like run out of units in some of them. Okay, so this one I can do just a tie fighter. In two. Two. And. Two one. two ground troopers and one from these two. Okay. And a ground, another ground trooper in two. Fighter in, and capital ship in three. A storm trooper in one. An ATST in one. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's no, my planet. Yes, yeah, sorry. Well, it's not your planet. You just have it. But I, I have it occupied, yeah. Um, a ground trooper in one and an assault frigate in two. Okay. It ground a uh, stormtrooper. Okay. And then a ETAT. I think you're out of those. I am out of those. And this. a fighter on two. A fighter, which I'm also out of. And it, I guess we didn't do course on another stormtrooper on one. Uh. Okay. I think that's all of them. I think. So, so you go ahead and deploy these now if possible, and then the rest of these guys slide down. That Super Star Destroyer is going to make me uh, sweat pretty bad. So this guy can go here. This guy can go to the moon.
I don't think I can place this TIE fighter anywhere. Unless I didn't do Mustafa. Can't remember. You probably did because you would have pulled whatever you could from there. You think I did? Okay. Yeah, probably. Not that it really makes that much of a difference. A single TIE fighter. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'll hold them off till the next turn. Alright, I'm going to do three missions. Okay. Want some water while you get to side? Yeah, some water would be good. It looks like you've mostly figured it out. Did you get your pro droids? Uh, yes, I did. If you're uh, ready for my mission, just let me know. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. I'll give you a very small amount of water. Why do you have more beer waiting? Well, I want to want to go ahead and do a mission, and then while you're doing your mission, I can get more water from both of us. Alright, it's not like I'm destroying and constructing Death Star or anything this turn. That was a bummer. Yeah, that was a bummer for you. Would have ended the game. Would have ended the game, but there's no way I was going to let that happen. No. Uh, I should have played it differently, but uh, yeah. I'm going to do a card that you're familiar with. Of course you are. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on... I'll do it on Nebu. I'm going to incite rebellion. So I will get three troopers at this pop-up. And I'm doing it with both of these guys. So I would roll four political. But I would also, I'm going to get two ground combat cards. So you may want to send someone just to get the ground combat cards, even if you don't think you'll be able to block it. Or you can just, like, abandon Naboo. Mm -hmm. Technically, Palpatine's home system. Technically. But you would just be able to bring your death fleet back to it if you choose to. That's true too. But do you allow me any victory ever? Especially since you do win ties. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true too. Man, I'm really I gotta get that Death Star out of there. He's sitting around. Yeah, he's been up. he's been sitting there for a while. It's just hard to move him quickly. Yeah. Especially since you have the two systems that it's adjacent to. So it's never like, oh, I'm going to do something great with the Death Star this turn. It's more of, I'm going to do something great with the Death Star the turn after that. Yeah. Um, but you got plenty of guys to move stuff around. Alright, screw it. I will block your... Mm. Will I block your thing? No, I won't block your thing. Okay, so two guys just show up. I guess technically I'll take them from the build queue. That's kind of interesting that I'm running out of guys. It says I show, they show up with three, right? Yep. Alright, I am gonna just steal a guy from a planet. I, I mean, don't think if you can do that. It says three troopers just show up. It says that they show up, but it doesn't say they show up from another planet. Well, they just up, they just appear. I'm reading the card as is. Three troopers show up. Actually, you know what? I'll take this main guy from Kashyyyk and wherever this guy was. He was on the Unipal. So th three guys, including one that I hope to die, <laughs> show up. I get two ground combat cards. 
And I roll three dice, you roll two. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. That is what we call a good, uh, good roll. Holy shit. I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> Your stone trophies officially suck. Alright, so those two guys go there. Uh, the planet is no longer subjugated. And they get to be an extra jerk and do liberation. Play after you win a ground combat on a subjugated system, which I did. So I get one more victory point. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, you, your dice rolls have been the worst. But you can go ahead and make me pay for it now. Okay. I will attempt this in Utapau. Okay. Gather and tell. So successful draw one probe droid for every four units. There's six, so you would only roll one. But You would, roll, you would roll three, huh? Do I want to send in Luke? You know what? I'll give you one. No, I'm never going to give you a probe droid. I'll go ahead and send in Luke Skywalker, the Jedi, to block such a menial task. If if somehow Yovarin is able to stop Luke Skywalker, or succeed despite Luke Skywalker, I'll be shocked. For every four rebel units, so it's not every four rebel health; it's every four units. Yeah. Mm, so that's not great. Oh, jeez, that's four. So good luck with your dice rolls. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> to be fair, like the fact that I was rolling three, you were rolling three, I win. Yeah, I win yeah, ties. Yeah, yeah. Statistically, blah, blah, blah. I should have won anyway. Uh huh. You made me use use them up as a block, Indeed. so I guess I need to go. Um, I'll go ahead and build Wait, a lot. Don't you think your Millennium Falcon get used up? No, I didn't succeed. Oh. You blocked it. So I still have this stupid thing. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do um, build alliance on Naboo, and again because I already have. Units there, I get three. I would get two dice added to the one. Yep. So three dice. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the same card I play every time. Just checking. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. Take Naboo. I don't care about Naboo. All right. You got the Emperor. I would have. I would have brought him out. I bet you would have. All right. Your turn. You can do a second mission where there's a guy. You just can't move guys from that location. That's all. Right. But I can move them first and then do the mission there. Yes. Yes, you definitely can. And since you have like four open guys and I only have one mission left, a mission that more or less you can guess is a spec ops mission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure does appear that way, doesn't it? See, that's another one of the advantages of me having to choose first. You get to see who I'm sending where. Alright, so I'm going to go to Dathomir with an AT. Okay. The Rebel base is not on that planet. But I was thinking about it. That was one of my options. Correct. So now it is now one less than what you were uh, thinking of before. Correct. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to do hit and run. 
And uh, so attempt in any system, if successful, I destroy two health worth of units in that system. As much as I would like to do that in a subjugated system so you're not subjugated anymore, I kind of want to get Princess Leia back. You know, they do kind of have a thing, Han Solo. So what you're saying is if you're successful, you get Leia back. That's right. And I get to kill two health worth of units that are there. So I will be rolling with five dice. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose I will try and block you. But if you do that, you won't be able to move from that system. You would do that to me, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Hmm. You're the one that chose to like bring that giant fleet into one location. Yeah. I'm just letting you know now so you don't pout about it later, especially since I'm feeling... I think I'm probably going to win this. Since you've got two turns left. That is possible. But you could do that crazy card and just be like... So you're sure I can't move after I block? Yes. I'm guaranteed because those guys, this whole system is actively working to block Han Solo and Chewie. They can't... They can't then do a second thing. This is the this is the pros and cons of so many different things. Take her. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kill two stormtroopers. Not that you care. They're just stormtroopers. And Leia is free. But I lose the Millennium Falcon Ring. So she goes back to the Rebel base. And I still want to stay there. Alright, your turn. This is where you like go ahead and do like another capture. Hmm. Yeah. Not right this time, I'm afraid. See, this is a, actually another option of why you would want to move a fleet first early on. Because even if I am going to try to do that rescue mission, mm -hmm. she would still have a chance. Mm -hmm. You know, like you would still be able to move your fleet to a region of space that I'm hoping you don't know anything about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and take... going to draw most of these guys over here. Yeah, you get quite a fleet. Uh, I'll leave one dude there. Just to such a good and I will take these guys. Which I believe eight, twelve. Yeah, seven. I think you get some scared. transport. I yeah. think we're good. Um, the rebel base is not on Bespin. Oh, I should leave. Let's get with him. The rebel base is not on Bespin. He's not on Bespin. Well, I will subjugate it. Nonetheless. Um. Alright, so I have Lando left. I don't have any missions, so I think even if I pass, I think I still have him, because I just can't do missions, but... Was he assigned to a mission? No, he's, he was just in my pool, but I'll go ahead and... I think I probably have to do something with him now. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and pull this fighter fleet from both of these systems to here. Not that I would ever 
attack that lone Star Destroyer or mm-hmm. anything. But, you know. To each his own. Yeah. I would never do such a thing. No, of course not. Why would you do that? Yeah, it makes no sense. It's not like it's an objective or anything. Alright, so I'm out of people, so you can do many nasty things. See, in Lord of the Rings, if you're, if you have less people left, then you can you can pass until they're, or less dice, then uh, they can keep on going. But this game's different. So I will do the secret weapons project and draw two project cards. You only get one. No. Or is that a special version of it? Ah. Yep. Okay. Alright, so you can just keep on going. I'm out of people. I know. I heard you the first time. Believe it or not, I heard you. I will do this in the solace system. So what is it? I will gain one loyalty in two systems in this region. If you have a Star Destroyer or a Super Star Destroyer. Okay. Which means I can knock out your loyalties, right? Yeah. So I will knock out Utapau and I will knock out Naboo. That's a good that blows, but yeah. Yep, that's a good card. Yeah, that's a really like that's that's two missions of loyalty right there, just like undone. You can move as well, like you can. Yeah, I will. Oh, so now, now you're, you're running, you're thinking about running the wheel now. I do have it narrowed down a little bit more. I can't discover the rebel base with just air units, right? Right. You have to land on it or it be politically yours. Politically loyal to you. Okay. But yeah, you just as well narrow it down. Let's move all those guys here. Thanks. Yeah, that makes sense. But he doesn't have any ground troops. No. But yeah, that's about it. But you could swing them over by this planet just to be able to then move those guys. Especially since you know that card is at the bottom of the deck and it's the only one. Mm, yeah. It's true. But then it would take me another turn to move them back. No, you can go there and then take Alderaan. Then take. Come. Um, you know. I mean, I guess, but I don't need more ground units right now. I don't have, you know, I have a couple now because he killed some, but that doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Yeah, what you really need is a transport here. 
But I guess that is probably your planet that you're holding in reserve for the mystery card that I hope um, never takes place. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. guy here, right? Yeah. Which I will do. Okay. So I guess you just, are you going to spin the wheel of mystery now, or are you going to, like, I can't win, like, you have to do it next turn, because it, it's going to go up one, so, like, that's where you're getting in the range of, I could win. Yeah. But it, you have at least one more turn to. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Narrow it down. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Okay. Planetary conquest. Okay. Now I just have to pick a system. You just gotta pick a system, and it's an attempt, so I can't stop you. I don't have any guys left. Correct. I think it's yeah, it's down to three. In case you were wondering. It's got a thirty-three percent chance. What are the three? Or do you not even want to tell me that? Because maybe you like forgot one and I'm like, oh. Well, you you got know, it's always possible that I forgot one. It's always possible. There's are, there are a lot of planets in the galaxy. Let's do it. <laughs> the rebel base is now about to leave. Damn it. Alright. Well, anyways, I moved the... Uh, I mean, yeah, and it's a giant... Two stormtroopers. And... I subjugate. So where are, we, where are the other ones, or do you not want to tell me? I will tell you on the... Next turn when I find it. <laughs> Alright, um, so. I'm fairly confident that I have now narrowed it down to two. So I'm gonna play Leave No One Behind. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna. Play. play if there are no captured rebel leaders, which there are not because I rescued Leia. So this goes down one, and we go up one turn. So somebody has to win on this turn. Someone has to win this turn. Okay, fair enough. And it is not a build turn. It is not a build turn. But these guys... These advance. guys move down, yeah. So I guess this Super Star Destroyer will never see the light of day. Yeah, no, nor will I ever build a, build a Mon Calamari Cruiser. It is never meant to happen. No, I suppose it is not. I guess I'll go ahead and put this in a little base. So I finally got all my guys back. The gang is back together. All right, I take my two probies. Two more. My last two missions. Now one of these. I think I figured this out the last turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that's what we call bad timing. That's, uh, that's kind of a dick move, guys. <laughs>
Oh. And what the hell up that all? Okay, I'm going to do four missions. something crucial. Oh, Alright, um, I'm gonna do base defenses, attempting the rebel system, if successful gain one ion cannon and one shield generator in the rebel base space. And since it's reeking, I get an automatic double success. Okay. Where are you doing that? So it it would it would put an ion cannon and a shield generator in the rebel base space. And so I should probably try and block that. Unless you want to do a lot of movement this turn. No. Let's block that. Who's, okay. who's doing that? Re um, Reekin. I probably should have sent it a second person along with it, but I didn't. So, so he gets an automatic two. Yeah, especially. and I just roll one dice. So he's already at three. So I have to roll pretty damn good. As usual. <laughs> yeah. But if you think you know where the rebel base is, then... Well, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I had it narrowed down to two, and now I'm thinking it might be a third one that I missed. I'm, I'm curious of what you've written down. Um, what does the Iron Cannon do? So the Iron Cannon is during the space battle step, your opponent rolls two fewer red dice, and the shield generator at the start of ground combat each round, I get one ground tactic card. Okay. That sounds pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a huge number of guys in the Rebel base, but getting an extra ground combat card each turn is helpful. It's helpful. The two fewer red die isn't as important unless you're... Like you have a, I don't have that much. I don't have. I don't have a really that much of a fighter fleet. Like you're gonna win that fight no matter what. I think I'm screwed. I don't think I can get to the rebel base. I hope not. Yeah, I think I lost already. So I might as well block it. Okay. So you already rolled. Well, I got the double because it's him, and then I get one dice. So I have a total of three. Yeah. So you get to roll three. All you need to do is get three and you block it. And wow, you I won. I managed to do it. You managed to block something. Okay. That's unfortunate. So that's at the rebel base. Yeah, technically he's at the yeah, rebel base. All right. Well, how about that? You can roll successfully. All right. I'm going to play intercept. 
transmission on a rebel system. I guess it doesn't really matter which rebel system. No, not really. So what does it do? Uh, if successful, the rebel player draws eight cards from the probe deck. He gives you all cards belonging to systems that contain an imperial unit. You should have made me do that first. Because that way, whenever you like draw new probe droids... You know it's only on planets that... Well, I only just to. got this. Oh, okay. I so only just got this. I'll go ahead and try to block it with Leia. Okay. So I roll two, you roll three. Yeah. I got two. You got four, so you actually succeeded. So how many? Eight. Eight. That's probably all of them. It is all of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, every single one. All right. Uh, so anyone's with Imperial units, all right, Bakhtaween, you got, Fallujah, you got, Ward Mundell, you got, so it's only on these possible four systems and the one that's here, so it's now down to literally one in five, um, at all. Shit. I think you miscalculated before. You okay. should you're like, oh you didn't know you were gonna get that card, but ideally you would play that card first and then that narrowed it down more because no, I, I just gave I you think, a bunch of I cards. think what happened is well, first of all I only just got this yeah. card. Which kinda sucks. Because that's a great card. But I think what happened is I thought it was somewhere when I was when it was on Tatooine. Mm-hmm. And then I screwed up when I when it moved. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yeah, I could have been extra devious and technically never moved it, but we'll we'll find that out at the end. How terrible would that be? That would be pretty <laughs> effed up. That would be messed up. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish I. Well, we'll we'll find out. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> Didn't know that was an option. Okay. Well. All right. So you did an attempt. So now it's one of my my turns. I'm pretty sure I lost. There's no way I can. Uh, I mean, probably not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to win over. Um. Cal. Nemito. So, you have no idea? Yeah. So I get three dice. You can try to block it. It becomes loyal to me. Greater is better. Whatever. It's the end of the game. Alright, your turn. Um. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this guy. And move all those guys over to Tesla. Okay. And it's your go. Okay. I am going to do rapid mobilization. Is this a resolve? And I get to move five units to the rebel base. And I'm going to go ahead and take these five X wings. And I'm going to move them to the rebel base. Okay. Your turn. Hmm. I suppose it doesn't matter. Well, why not? For fun.
Just for fun. Okay. Because I already lost. Alright, so I roll three reds and a black. You roll two blacks and four reds. So I'll roll first and I'll give you the rest of my reds. Uh, no, I roll three blacks. There's a TIE fighter in there too. Oh, okay. Three blacks. So I'll give you some more reds once I roll. Alright, so this is a fighter only damage. This is a... Oh, and I guess... What the hell, I'll go ahead and bring in uh, Han Solo. So I'll get two space cards. And I'll go ahead and shuffle these. You get two space cards. Uh, I believe I get three. No. Oh, two. Blue. Got it. Alright, so I do one damage to your Star Destroyer. And I will pick up one more space card with this one. Okay. Um, I'm done. So you get four reds and three blacks. So you can go ahead and do your damage. Hmm. So that's only a capital ship. So there's a fighter, an X-wing or a Y-wing. Y-wing. Okay. And you can draw two cards or play two cards, depending on what your symbols are. Um, I would like to draw one card and Here you play go. one card. So I will play this one for the second, which lets me draw two tactic cards. Okay. And then I will... How many damage did you do to me? I only did one. But oh, well, one to your Star Destroyer, one to your TIE Fighter. Okay, well I'm gonna discard this one and block both of those damage. Yep. And then I'm going to deal one more damage to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and deal one more damage. I'll deal double damage to your TIE Fighter. So... So can I block those two instead of that one? Yeah, I guess technically, yeah. So I lose a Y-Wing. And this Y-Wing. And that Y-Wing. And, and my capital ship has one damage. Yes. And I'm going to choose to retreat. Hmm. I guess I should have used the no escape, huh? I'm going to retreat to Geonosis. To the rebel base. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. You'll never know. Well. You'll find out. Actually, you will find I'll out. I'll find out shortly. Shortly. Alright, uh, just for cinematic reasons, I'm going to plan the assault. Attempt in any system that contains an Imperial ship. If successful, move ships, but not ground units from the Rebel base to this system as if they were adjacent. Then resolve combat in this system. So, it's spy, but with the Dama, again, a two success, and with I would be rolling with five dice plus a double. So... I got it. If successful, move ships, but not ground units from the rebel base. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna move all these rebel ships to here, and the one from the. So you can try to block it, but I'm rolling five dice plus a two success. Um, hmm. You may want to send Tarkin just because he gives you two space combat cards. Yeah, so does Sunter Fell, though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, one of them is probably good. <laughs> well, I can't block five. Ah, damn. Maybe I was right about the Rebel base being there. 
You'll never, you'll find out soon enough. Or maybe I just want to destroy the um the Death Star because it'll be cinematic. Maybe. Maybe you do. Well, I'll put it this way. If I destroy the Death Star and I get two victory points, the game is over no matter what. Right. So you just as well, but the Death Star cannot retreat. No, which kind of makes sense. No, I just wish I had played this card before I played Darth Vader then. That's unfortunate. But, uh, it is what it is, right? So, sure. I'll put Tarkin in there just to, uh... Alright, so I roll five... <laughs> And a guaranteed hit. I mean, I get... Uh, well, with a guaranteed hit... Alright, well, like, whatever. We'll roll it. Um, I so think you won. You can't... Yeah, you can't block that. Yeah. Um, okay, so... You get two space cards. See, I was actually kind of wishing you would have Vader block this combat just because I could use the card that allows me to kill Vader. Hmm. Or the Emperor, if you had the Emperor do it. So, I got... Four reds and five blacks. So that's a pretty good fleet I got there. I got a Jedi Luke Skywalker. Alright, so I'm gonna have two of your fighters dead. Go ahead and let's see what my cards are. Gonna draw a card and draw another card. Then I use this to draw another two cards. Cards up the wazoo. Um, I will re roll two of my dice. So I'll go ahead and Kill your assault frigate. Yeah, I'll kill your assault frigate. And I'll kill another one of your TIE fighters. And yet yeah, another one of your TIE fighters. So you get four red dice. Five. Oh, yeah, you do get five. Because of the, then you get one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, so you get five. I'm gonna use these things. So you get five and five. And the red ones don't damage you unless it's the wild, right? Yeah, because there's no capital ships there. Okay. Well, what about your? transport thingy or whatever. Oh yeah, that's true. I, I did throw my transport ship, so yeah. I probably shouldn't have done that because it's just going to give you yeah, like, you couldn't use this anywhere else, but now the transport is dead. Okay. And then... Well, well how many of those were hit? Oh, did you I not? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is a... F well, I only have fighters left, so... Actually, at this point, X-Wings would be best for you to kill. Yeah. So, Agreed. three X-Wings. And you can either draw three cards or do stuff with them. Um, I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. Well, just one for one person. Let's see what okay. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to play two cards. What are those? Uh, so deal two damage to one ship. Okay. So I'll take out one. That one's double dead. And deal one damage to up to two different ships. Okay. So, so I'll take out the X-Wing and the Y-Wing. Okay. Um, I'm going to block two damage. So two of these guys survive. Do you get to pick which ones you block? Yeah. Or do I get to pick? No. It's definitely I get to pick. And I'm going to go ahead and deal another damage. That 
And I'm going to discard one space tactics card and block two damage. So that will be these two. So. Well, why don't you block that two? Because it doesn't do you any good, I know. <laughs> but it doesn't sit there. I should be able to kill you. So you lose all these guys. I lose two X Wings. Luke was a good commander, and I'm going to play Death Star plans, so I'm going to do a trench run since I have surviving X-Wings, and I get to see that. Okay. So I have to get the, the thingy. Which I did not. Cool. So, but you can't retreat, so I'm going to resume the attack. Okay. So I still have four Y wings and three X wings. Wow. Okay. But you did one damage. Uh, well, that's all actually I can do to the one Tie Fighter. Okay. So you get four reds. And one black. Okay. So be it. Not Kill three. one X wing. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and do that trench run again. Not cool. And it's blown up. And I get two victory points. Where's the other dice? Right here. Yeah. Hit him. Well, I guess I can't blow up Yavin anymore or Kessel or whatever. It, the base wasn't even on Kessel. Oh, well, too bad. I was going to blow it up anyway. I wanted, I wanted to be sitting. Which actually would have helped me win even more because I have uh, Inspire Sympathy. Um, gain one reputation for each destroyed system, so that would actually would have helped me as much as destroying the Death Star. All right, so where do you, uh, like so where do you think the Rebel system is now? Geonosis. Nope. Damn. Then I have no idea. Good. I've completely lost it. It for everybody. I moved it to Ryloth. Right there. Uh. Yeah. That would have been extra devious if I kept it on Tatooine. I could have bluffed that if I wanted to. No, I think if you say you move it, you have to actually move it. Well, I... Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But it would have been interesting if I had kept it there. When you want to... Like... But it, it actually would have been an interesting fight because I would have had these guys join the guys that already were on Ryloth. Mm -hmm. I may have actually won that fight because it would have been just so many dudes against... Geonosis actually would have been a good place to put it. I should have put it there. I Because like there was a shield generator and ion cannon. But yeah, it was on Ryloth. Hmm. But it was on Tatooine. You were dead. You were absolutely right on that first one. Yeah, I didn't play that correctly. I should have waited till you didn't have any guys left, and then bring out the Death Star. Yeah. So you can kill it. Well, I had all these guys on the Rebel base, and they were going to stay there until the Rebel base was threatened. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I thought it was on Hoth or Endor, maybe. But I was thinking about it, but I didn't even draw those cards, so I didn't even have that option. Or it was on Bespin or Dathomir. I had the choice to put it on Bespin, but I, that was just too close to where it was. Well, I thought it would be okay because you had these kind of yeah. buffers. But When you moved that giant fleet down to here, I was like, yes. Because the base was here. It was like, okay, he's going off in that well, direction. I thought it was one of these, and that's why. Yeah. No, I mean... Ryloth. The fact that I only moved it one planet over wasn't all that logical, but I didn't have that many good choices. 
I had Danthamir, which you landed troops on pretty quickly afterwards. Um, I think I did have Bakuin, but I think I you had units nearby. I did have Kessel. I was thinking about Kessel, but it was just too close to your Death Star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I put it on Ryloth. There are a few other planets, but Ryloth, Kessel, and Danthamir were the main the main choices I could have done. Well, if you hadn't blocked all of my probe attempts, I might have <laughs> known that. Yeah, you rolled pretty terrible throughout the whole game. Ugh. But yeah. So the Empire's defeated, the Rebels win. Yep. So, like... Yeah, so, like, so what were the list of planets you... Th was Ryloth even in the list? It was not. Perfect. I was thinking you may overlook that. Were you just assuming that... Well, you thought it was on Geonosis. Why didn't you think it was on Ryloth? Because I thought I had guys there when I was attacking Tatooine, which would have precluded you from moving. No, you definitely didn't. See, that's that's where I forgot where my guys were. Ryloth has always... I started that as a rebel system. That was one of the cards I drew. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Because I was disappointed in that one because it'll, it's only one rather than the two. But once it was no longer on Tatooine, you just gave up on the whole region. Nope. And I, I, I attacked the Death Star just because I could. And I think I could win. Well, I was going to blow up Castle because that was one of the options. Yeah. That would have actually accelerated my victory, too, if you had done that. I would have gotten just as many points for that. Then. Really? Yeah, because um, I would have done Inspire Sympathy. And since you blew up two planets, I would get two victory points. Start of refresh phase. Yeah, so at the end of this turn. But I was going to win at the end of this turn no matter what. Right. So you blowing up the system would have made sense. <sighs> no, I suppose not. Well, I didn't know you had that card. That would have been a good card to know about. Well, I told you. I told you there is there is a thing is like if you blow up sy systems that don't have it, I, I get sympathy. Mm. So overall, what do you think? Where does this stack up to other games? Overall, I thought it was pretty good. I think it needs a little bit of clarification on some of these ambiguous cards. Well, I did tell you to read the rules, which you did not do. I did not do that because <laughs> I don't have all that much time. <laughs> True. That's perfectly fair. I like this game. It's, I mean, it's fun. It's cinematic. It's, you get to feel the movies. You're a little litigious, but uh, you are with all games, especially the first time that you ever play anything. Yeah, yeah that's the first time I played it. Gotta learn the rules. Yep. So if you played again, would you want to be the Rebels or the Empire? Uh, I'd probably be the Empire, yeah. The Rebels are kind of vulnerable. Because, like, you were well, so one turn away I, from I, winning. Because I, I was on Tatooine. I think it's overpowered that you can move your Rebel base anywhere. Well, based no. Based on your draw from the... But it's not anywhere. It's anywhere at the end of the turn. So if I move the base and you still laser it, then it's it's still dead. True, but I mean, it's hard to move when I can only move one space at a time. Well, and I, I, even then, I can't move guys if a mission has occurred or if I blocked a mission. Yeah. Well, that's why I told you to have multiple fleets rather than a giant fleet. Yeah. I did say that. Uh huh. What are you even looking up? I'm just reading the rules. <laughs> Alright, so I'll stop the recording. Um, I have some... Uh, Go back in the video to uh, to when I found tattooing. I want to see what the board layout looks like. You, I guarantee you didn't have troops there. Yeah, I just want to look. Oh my god. 
I don't even watch my videos. Do you realize that? Well, that's because they're too long. We, we played for four and a half hours.